All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope you guys you did miss me. I'm not sure if you do. However, I'm sure the Muslims they miss me at least. That is for guarantee. Uh, see, the Muslims always they speak to us about God, God, Muhammad, Allah, Jibril. Okay. There is a requirement even for a person who is a human being to be accepted to be a prophet even for a human being you see even if you want to work in the post office as a mailman still there is a requirement if you do not meet the requirement for the job you will not be accepted if we examine Allah he will not be accepted to work for the post office I'm drinking water. <clears throat> Hold on. All right. My throat is dry. Talking too much. Mm. So, if we want to believe in Islam, shouldn't be at least that the God of Islam can prove that he is God? You see, I am I am not an atheist for sure. I believe in God. I am a Christian. But this God, he have no qualification for anything. This God, he say the most stupid thing ever. This God, he don't talk, he do poo, poo So today the challenge is, who is the Muslim when I call us and show us all the miracles listed in the, in the internet to prove to us that any of them is true? Bunch of liars with no dignity. Not even a single statement on those what they call them miracles is true. And this is additional proof that Islam is not from God. Because if Islam is from God, why the Muslims need to lie, fabricate false miracles to make us believe? So the challenge here for anyone who is listening from the Muslim clan who of you dare to call me and show me a miracle done by your God <clears throat> thank you for those who says they love me you see I, I don't get scared from the word we love you unless it is coming from a female the second it's come from a female I go hide <laughs> as long as it's coming from brothers I am okay with it because I'm afraid that Muhammad he might be here and he hear you and he thinks we love you is for him this guy he don't take it in a friendly way even if you're a child what if Muhammad is here and you say we love you this guy is not Santa Claus this guy he take it seriously You better be careful. So who is the Muslim who want to give us a call and tell us how Muhammad became a prophet and how Allah became a God? You see, they are debating us about the Trinity, but they cannot debate us if Jesus, he rejected people from death. They cannot debate us if Jesus, he made the blind see. They cannot debate us if Jesus, he healed, he healed the one who cannot walk, he healed the labor, he tell you what you can hide in your, your house, which means he, he know the unseen. They cannot debate us if Jesus is alive right now or not. They cannot debate it if Jesus have father or not. All of this about Jesus, they cannot debate us about. So they don't want to debate about the Trinity. But their God have a zero. They have a God. If we open the account of Allah to see how many miracles he have, we found zero in his account. <clears throat> Hello? Who is the Muslim when I give me a call? My Skype is open. 
please call me at the phone number of Allah 000 Jibreel 0 secretary breastfeeding for adult 0 camel urine for a drink 0 uh, uh, false miracles from Allah 0 who is going to give us a call <clears throat> how dare you to speak about miracles where are they where are they I want to see them see I opened the internet for you there's many websites here look 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 at this one miracles of the Quran you're right miracles of what yeah right what 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 look at this look colonies animal language spider web minerals atmosphere breastfeeding uh, what I mean it is endless man who is the one of you will give me a call and show me if any of those listed miracles in your website is a true challenge please don't mention some some, some she leave some she alone <coughs> any Muslim all of those in the Quran by the way right now right now as we speak the first the first NASA uh, uh, spaceship landing on Mars while Muslims are telling us about a prophet who went to the space but he saw nothing what he saw in the space he saw a guy behind the door he said who is this I mean, have you ever heard of somebody who went to the space? From the whole space, he saw only a gate of a door, seven gates. And each time he, he knocked at the door and they said to him, who is this? Jibreel, he says, I am Jibreel. Who is with you? I am Muhammad. My friend, somebody speak to your God, Allah, and tell him to buy the face recognition software. It's made by the Jews in Israel. Even Jibreel, they could not recognize him. Have you ever heard of an angel of God? They are seeing their boss because Jibreel, according to Islam, is the boss. The angels who they are guarding the gate, they say to Jibreel, who is, who are you? Jibreel, he said, look, what the heck? You don't know me, you idiot. I am your boss. I'm Gabriel. A brother and sister. When the prophet flied in the top of the donkey all the way to the heaven, he went to the end of the bril. And when the end of the bril, he arrived to the fort at the gate. He knocked at the gate. The angel from behind the door, brother, they ask him, Who are you? And here you can see the investigation and the security. Allah, he don't take anything without security. So here the bril has to prove that he is the bril. And how he proved he is the bril? He said, It's me, the bril. What the heck? He proved that he is Jibreel by saying, I am Jibreel. That's it. And then the door opened. I mean, this story is so good to be true. A brother and sister. I am Jibreel. And that's it. That, this is the proof. You, you are who? You are Jibreel. Okay, as long as you are Jibreel, get in. I'm going to go to White House now, and I will knock at the door. The Secret Service, they open the door to me. They say, who are you? I say, I am Trump. I said, okay, sir, go ahead. <laughs> what a stupid religion. Do we have any Muslim caller? <coughs> and always Muhammad, all his miracles, like he went to the seven heaven 11, but nobody saw him. Not even his wife who is sleeping between his legs. He went all the way. He won't. He came back. He took selfie. He said, a selfie. Take a selfie. And not only that, in his way back, he did not come back to Mecca. He stopped in Jerusalem. And who was waiting for him in Jerusalem? Anyone knows? How many prophets was waiting for Muhammad in Jerusalem? Who remember? Anyone remember? Let us see your memory, guys, from those who were learning here for long. How many messengers was waiting for Muhammad in Jerusalem? 124,000 prophet. Have you ever heard of a city can fit? At that time, Jerusalem is so tiny, so small. 124,000, all of them, they are prophet. 
and what make it more horrible the 124,000 prophet they are all flying with a donkey that's mean we have 124,000 prophet and 124,000 donkey and yet nobody saw them any historical report for us that there is an, a person came one day and suddenly we have 124,000 donkey and 124,000 prophet in Jerusalem Who want to prove to us that this story is true? Muhammad, he went to Jerusalem and he visited the Aqsa, but there was no Aqsa at that time. I wish, I wish that the Prophet Muhammad, he took a selfie. At least to prove that he was there and posted on Facebook. Brother Sitter, when the Prophet Harun, Harun is Aaron in English, Look at look at the fantasy of Muhammad. When the Prophet Harun or Aaron he died, do you know how many people they were in the funeral of Mr. Aaron? Who remember? Who remember? Anyone? Nobody? 40,000, 40,000, 40. Do you remember? Uh, Muhammad Hijab, he said, for 4,000 years, 4,000 years, the Jews instructed not to break the command of God. 4,000 years, they did not mention Trinity. The stupid, he forgot the Quran says the Jews worship Hosea. He left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. So when Aaron he died, according to Muhammad, there was 40,000 guys, they went in his funeral. But the problem is not here. The problem that all of them, their name is Aaron. Guys, imagine Christian prince, he died, and there is 40,000 Christian prince in the funeral. It must be a true story. I mean, this is a true story. Muhammad is not the guy who say poo poo do boo boo boo. Muhammad is telling the story, and the story is true. 40,000 Aaron, they were in the funeral of Aaron. Sir, what's your name? Aaron. Next, Aaron. Next, Aaron. 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 Okay, I'm shaking hands with the, in the funeral now. You know, a 40,000 guy, their name is Aaron. Why? The whole city, his name is town. The town, the whole, the whole Jews, they, they, they have no other name except Aaron. Every Jew, every woman, like not even one when I call her son Musa. <laughs> uh, Aaron, nice to meet you, Aaron. I'm telling you, Islam must be true religion, brother. It is true. 40,000 Aaron. <laughs> Who is the Muslim? He want to be our hero and he want to give us a call and show us if anything in Islam is a truthful. Anyone? Any two? Sold. <laughs> oh boy. When the Muslim, they try to fool you with those miracles, they are assuming that you do not know anything about Islam so we can fool you. And as you see, I am here standing, my Skype is open, or what I'm asking the Muslims to call me, choose for me from any who they call miracles. You see, the list is long. Choose anyone, and let us see if it's true or not. It's a challenge. It's a challenge they cannot take. Any Abdul? May they, may they, a miracle of a prophet Muhammad is needed. May they, may they, a miracle of Allah is needed. May they, may they, we have zero miracle until now. Hold on, hold on. Is that a bee? The honey of the bees? Oh. Guys, is, is that Muhammad? He have a miracle about the bees? Mean. Should, should I go there? Shall I go there? Muhammad, he have a miracle about the bees? How is that? Okay, let us see. I became so curious because I like honey. 
and the reason I like honey because Muhammad he have 13 wives none of them he she said to him honey look like he was not honey at all and look here, brother. And look here at the miracle. Quran, chapter 16, verse number 68, 69. And your Lord, Allah, revealed to the bees. Hold on, hold on. How Allah he revealed to the bees? Let me tell you how. The, the bees are now receiving Quran and now the bees is so this is this is like takbir Allah he revealed to the bees that is something okay build your hives in mountains and trees in what they build and look here hmm. and then eat and look here 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 look look do you see between between the bracket females do you see guys between the two bracket females eat for females from every fruit look like look like Allah he thought only females they eat <laughs> this is true this is true my brother I have a friend I go and visit him and I find always his wife and his mother-in-law in eating and he is just watching this is the true and look how they put it between two brackets supposedly they are like you are stupid and we are smart look look for the females he said to who for the females aha uh -huh. man oh man from every fruit and flow for females again look how many times the females is repeated i mean this is a miracle <laughs> all right all right <sighs> let me let me zoom in with this website so we can make it better hold on I'm sure you guys are. I don't know how many people of you is going to convert to Islam right now after you see how 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 amazing this miracle. All right, I think this is better, isn't it? Is the text clear, guys? Let me know, please, if the text if you can read it. Can you read it in the screen? <clears throat> is it clear? All right. So, and from every fruit and flow for females, your Lord is in 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 enslaved bath, for its from its billies, exit a drink of different colors, in it healing for man, and there is a sign who are like this is a sign of Allah the the you know the the bees give honey is a sign but let us see how many stupid mistake here in this false miracle, let us read down. For the word eat, kuli, is for females. Kul is for male. The Quran used the word kuli for females. Okay, we get this one. Continue. For the word flow a path, usluki, it's for female. Usluk, for a male. The Quran used isluki for females. Okay, we got it. For the word, it is Billy's. Butunaha, it is for females. Butunahim is for males. The Quran used the word Butunaha for females. Okay. How could an illiterate man who lived 1400 years ago have known that those honey makes bees are from females? Amazing the stupidity, Abdul. For whoever donkey is listening in Arabic, we have only one word for bees, which is a female word. You, de, you donkey.
most of the insect in Arabic they come as a female regardless of their gender you idiot <laughs> who is the Muslim wanna call me right now and tell me what is the name of the bees other than the word Nahl which is in front of us anyone you see how they lie to you they say he's speaking about females this is a word use it's a generic word for all bees regardless if it is male or female the word itself is a female but it's not about the gender the same as the ant when we speak about one individual ant we say namla when we speak about one individual bees we say nahla it doesn't matter what it is stupid liars now in this false miracle the muslims they got their god busted why because the stupid god of islam he is claiming and read carefully i'm not the one who's saying that that the bees eat from the fruits the bees eat what the bees go and eat from the fruits read with me go and eat from the fruits and then after they eat the honey come from their bellies the god of islam he claimed that the bees eat a fruit and shit honey True story, brother. A brother and titter. The Quran teaches at brother that the God of Allah, He said to the bees, He inspired them. He inspired them with, with, with. And the bees, they listen to Allah. And now they order the order. So they go to eat fruit. They go, they start eating fruit. And then they poo poo honey. What a stupid God. The God of Islam is teaching us that they eat a fruit and they shit honey. I mean, this is a really, 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 really uh, <clears throat> shitty here, a miracle. <laughs> the honey come from their belly. You strip it first of all. Those bees who goes to eat, they don't give honey from their belly. The bees, they keep the honey in their tongue. The one, the worker bees, they collect the nectar. They don't eat the fruits. And then they bring the nectar and they deliver it to other bees. So the one who ate, as you call it in the Quran, eating the fruit is not eating. Secondly, it is not the one who made the honey. It is another worker inside the hive which is going to receive the nectar. And that one will work in the honey. So what it was a miracle a second ago, it turned to be Mr. Bean. <laughs> what is next? Who is a Muslim when it choose for us a miracle? Better than we choose by ourselves, please. Do me a flavor, not favor. Who want to give us a flavor of Allah? Something real. Until now, you Muslim, you fail to give us anything your God can do. Your God, he squeezed Muhammad three times, saying to him, read, and still Muhammad cannot read. Have you ever heard of a God like this? Allah, he squeezed the prophet. The prophet is being squeezed. He said to him, read. He squeezed him again. He said to him, read. He squeezed him again. After all the squeezing and saying, still Muhammad cannot read. That was a really, a very, 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 very magical squeezing. Where is the miracle of Allah? Jesus says to the blind man, see, he saw. 
he said to the man who cannot walk carry your bed and walk wrong go go he did your God Allah speaking to Muhammad saying read it three times and instead Muhammad can't read even even I can teach you how to read in two weeks my friend without squeezing honest to God until now by the way the Muslims cannot explain to us why why Muhammad being squeezed three times I mean why three times what about four maybe if he do more you, you see the, the problem is I, I I I am upset from Jibreel if Jibreel maybe he squeeze him one more time maybe then Muhammad will know how to read I mean why you give up do you think everybody is the same Muhammad is an Arab like me and we need a lot of squeezing my friend trust me <laughs> all right the first miracle it turned to be hocus what is next who is the Muslim wanna call me and choose for us something difficult look look how many look 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 at this look at this boy breastfeeding Eesh. You remind me of the hadith where Muhammad he said, A Muslim woman she have to give her booze to an adult until he suck it ten different times. I mean, this is alone, truly, truly, truly is a miracle. And I'm afraid, truly afraid that if this verse is still in the Quran, a lot of men specifically will convert to Islam. Think about it. A prophet of God he is ordering women to give their breast for you in order to be in one place so think about this you are going in a cruise ship and inside the cruise ship there is like 6,000 people 3,000 of them they are females and now you will spend the coming two months sucking their boobs That is the God, the wise Allah. I love it. I, by the way, guys, I, I'm going to go in a cruise shop soon. I mean, I'm, I mean, but it have to be all Muslim females only. All right, and I will take selfie for you. I, I will do live broadcast. You go inside your house. You find a man sitting in the lap of your wife, and he is sucking her breast. And you say to her, "What the heck you are doing?" She said, "Just shut up, idiot! Don't you know what the Prophet said?" He said, give them my boobs 10 times until he's satisfied. Look at the guy. He is not satisfied yet. We Muslim brother, we are very, very, very protective to the point we don't allow you to shake the hand of our wife. But you can suck her breast. It's hella and lawful. <laughs> Who is the Muslim want to give us a call? Look, look at the miracles. Look, guys, like endless. Look, look at this. Look, what is that? A zombie? What, what is that? Ish, 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 ish. Frozen in their final act. Ish, man. Mosquito. Even Allah spoke about the What about the mosquito? The mosquito? And look how the mosquito. Look at this mosquito, man. The, the Muslim, they choose the right mosquito to present a miracle of Allah. Look at this. I mean, this is the, the drone alone is a miracle. Who want to call us and he choose a miracle of his choice? You can choose the mosquito if you want. I don't mind. I mean, mosquito, mosquito, who care? Huh? What about the eye a bubble? Or what about the poem? I don't even know how to read them, you see. <coughs> Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend. Hey, Sipi, how are you? I'm um, all right. I was wondering, uh, you know, I was a big fan of you, but until you were, you know, I don't think that uh, as a person, as a Christian, you're supposed to... Shut up. You don't think as a Christian we should do this? Don't do this. Shut up. Don't call me again. Coward liar. A Christian who don't expose the devil is no Christian.
So what do you want? You want the Muslim to deceive your children? You are a fake Christian. You are no Christian. You are a Muslim. You want your child to come home and believe in this garbage and he convert to Islam? You are a false man. If you are really a Christian, as you claim, that means you lost your mind and you are following the devil. Somebody hijacking the name of Jesus, you idiot. Putting it in a book. Claiming that all the miracles of Jesus is done by different God. And you have no dignity to prove that this false. And you claim yet to be Christian. You are a certified donkey. And you are no Christian and you are a Muslim. False call. Next. Who is the one who will be hurt by exposing these false lies? We are hurting the feeling of who? A guy like this. Satanic people who believe in Muhammad. If you claim to be Christian, then you should be happy that there's somebody who speaks the language of those, this cult, and he can expose them so no Christian child will be misleaded. This guy is saying to us, he don't mind if a Christian child convert to Islam and go to hell just because he don't want to offend the devil and the lies of the devil. Isn't it Jesus? He said, the devil is the father of all lies. You are afraid to defend the devil? You are afraid to offend the devil? Coward, follower of the devil. Who is the Antichrist? Somebody tell me what the Bible says about the Antichrist. Who is the Antichrist? Isn't it the one who denied the Father and the Son? This is what Islam does 24 hours, 7 days a week. And this liar, he claimed to be Christian. And he don't want us to expose the Antichrist. Coward potato. I feel sorry for your wife if you are married. I advise her to put you in the laundry machine and put a lot of detergent. Maybe you will get better. But I don't think so. Do we have any brave Muslim would like to call us? Anyone? Christian Prince, I used to be one of your fans. My friend, I have many fans in home, here at home. I turned them off all because it's cold here. I don't want you to be my fan. <laughs> I used to be your fan, by the way. <laughs> True story. Do we have any Abdul here? Mm. Anyone? Who is Abdul? He have the courage and the knowledge to call us. Anyone? I'm looking at my Skype. My Skype is like crazy. You know, I have like hundreds of messages. All right. And I'm getting a lot of health advices about being, uh, take care of my health. My friend, don't worry about my health. My time will come and I will go to my Lord, but I will be happy. I did my duty. Let that day come. This is the last of my worry. Who is the one who is going to call me, please? Who is the Muslim? Want to show us that any of those you claim to be scientific miracles in Islam and in Quran is it true? Is that a hamburger? Fasting and the medical benefit? <laughs> you see, the Muslim, they are talking about fasting as, the, as if they are the one who discovered fasting. <laughs> Muhammad in the beginning he walked by the Jews. He heard the Jews fasting. He said, What how are you are fasting? They said this is the day of Ashura. They said, he said to them, What is the day of Ashura? They said this is the day when Musa he crossed the sea. He said, You know what? We are more close to Musa from you. So Muhammad he started fasting Ashura. <laughs> 
have you ever heard of a prophet his God never told him about about Musa's and what happened to Musa's he's asking the Jews what is this day and what you are doing and why and then they told him why so he liked it he decided to start fasting and then after that he met with the Sabians and the Sabian they told him we fast Ramadan so Muhammad he chose to fast Ramadan and he dump Ashura the miracle of the fasting. Any Abdul? Speed of light. Ew. Look, guys, speed of light. The speed of light is in the Quran. Do you notice until now, not a single Muslim dare to call us? Did you notice? Why? Because they knew that all those miracles are, are hocus. Otherwise, trust me, they will be all over me, calling me right now and making me challenge one by one. Look how many, look how many. Choose one. Maybe this guy is almost done. Hello? Hello. Yes, my friend. Yes. Um, I called you um, <clears throat> a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a Christian, so uh, I was asking about the Arabic word for that you were using. Uh, you said it was Ilah and Ilahi, is that correct? Ilah is God. Ilahi is my yes. God. Yes. Um, and during your live stream, you said that um, Al means God, but La is some other name. Yes. So you said Ilah is an, a word you use, but it also has La in it. So is that not using that other name as well? Or? No. You see, there's no La. You see, this is this is in the how, how it appears. It's like Il is the word God. Illa, <coughs> Illa is the God. It's not a name. Illa, Illa, not La. Oh, so it... Illa, Illa. See, we are learning from the Aramaic. We are up. We stole from the Aramaic. The same as the Hebrew, actually. Most of their language is taken from the Aramaic people. So Illa can be Ilaho, can be Ilaha, can be Illa, can be El. It can, but it is ill. Ill is the word there. It's not a name. There's no name. Ill is the word God. That's it. The rest is either to make it like depend in the sentence how where it is where it's located. But here, when you say Alhamdu li la, not li il la. You know what I mean? So oh, okay. la, la here is a name by itself. Ill is the word God. Are you getting my point? So, yeah, yeah, like yeah. In, in the Bible, it says that Jesus, his name is Emmanuel, correct? Okay, Il at the end, that's mean God is with us. What, okay. what is the word God is Il. Mm -hmm. All right? So you will see that all the names in the Bible, actually, they are not names. They, it is a sentence, means something. Like Abraham. Mm -hmm. Abraham is not, is not a, if you ask a Muslim what Abraham means, they don't know. Abraham is a mm -hmm. word mean. The one who crossed to the other side, the one who crossed the river, the one who crossed to the other side, which means he was with, with non-believers and he crossed to the to the side of the believers. So mm -hmm. when we read names in the Bible, they, most of them, they are not names. 99% actually, they are not names. It is a sentence. It's a title. It's a statement. All right. Mm. Same as the name of Noah and his children and this thing, uh, Adam. It is not really a name. So when we speak about God, you see, in the Bible, there's no name for God. God, he said, I am who yeah. I am. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we don't have a name to talk about here. We are talking about the word is God. But for the mm -hmm. Muslims, if you ask any Muslim, he said to you, Allah is a name, correct? Yeah. They don't say Allah is a word mean God. They say Allah is a name. Now, why they are saying all of it Allah is because this is how it's come always for them. They did not study history. They are disconnected. They don't even know what Musa means. They do not know even what Abraham means. They don't even know what Isa means. They don't know any of the names what they mean. And this is telling us, even you, if you if you go in the Quran, you will find the Muslim, they say that the father of uh, Abraham, his name is Azar. But Azar in Aramaic means fool or foolish. Yeah, I saw that. I so saw this that. is stupid. So they, they have no idea. Islam have no ideas. They are, they, it's a, it's a form, it's a, they stole the religion from other culture and they adopt the names. And then because they are not learned people, they do not know what the names mean and they get themselves busted. As an example, when a Muslim, he says to you, who is the angel who brought the book to Muhammad? 
Gabriel. Okay. Well, they would say what, Gabriel. What is Gabriel? Isn't it Gabriel a word, two words connected together? Yes. Okay. Why Allah, his name, have no eel in it? If Gabriel is the is the angel of the God who his name is Eel. Yeah. What happened to Eel? Where is Allah? If you go and count the names of Allah, you will find nowhere it says Eel. Mm. Okay. What happened? Simply, Muhammad he took what he what is written in the book of Waraqab Nufal and Waraqab Nufal he used the old ancient Aramaic for a al. So al lah. Mm. There's no Eel. But if you go in the Quran, you will find all the names is connected to Eel, Ishmael, Israel, Mikael, Jibreel. You know what I mean? Is uh, mm. everything is so Eel is yeah. everywhere? But you ask the Muslim, who is Eel? They don't know. What Jibreel mean? They don't know. Because it's the same with the Messiah as well. Like they just use that word. And the same when you, say, when you say when you say you see when when a Muslim he say Al Masih, you know he just yeah. you just admitted that he's God. Yeah. But imagine yeah. in their books they say that the word Messiah. This is how much stupid they are. That the word Messiah mean that he have a flat feet. What? Yeah, because they are connecting it to the Arabic word which Masaha, Masaha, which means flat, like you know it's white. So they say oh, really? maybe he had. Maybe they are guessing. They are not sure. Maybe mostly he ho he have a you know the Messiah God. He sent the messenger who will walk between his nation with the flat feet. <laughs> It's crazy. All right. Did I answer my friend? Yeah, I have a couple of other questions. Uh, if no one's calling you, um, um, I want to I want to focus on this topic today, which is the miracle of the Quran. If you have something about it, you know, we don't we don't want to mix things in this in this video. Do you have well, anything about I'll, this? Uh, I'll come back if there's no one calling and with a question related to your topic. No problem. Yeah, I prefer. Right. Thank, thank you. I prefer if we guys focus on our topic. So we keep it the way it is. So when somebody download the video later, it's going to be only about this. Any Abdul wanna call me? Is those miracles are true? Flight, guys. The Quran speak about the flight. I want to see that. Uh, this is a new for me. Hold on, hold on. If, if, if that's deep. That's really deep. I am in I, I am in a deep trouble. Man reached the sky. The Quran speak about man reached the sky. Are you sure? Are you sure? Read with me, guys. Fourteen hundred years ago, the highest attitude a man could reach was the height that could be could jump, but could jump. You never heard of something called climb <laughs> okay mm -hmm. what do you mean jump let it go let it go but the Quran foretold that man someday will reach the sky the Quran says that if 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 Quran Chapter 29, verse number 22. You cannot escape Allah might on earth or in the sky. If, 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 if. And you have no protector, no savior beside Allah. And now this is supposedly about Allah saying that the man, he will go to the sky. Let me get the Abdul busted. Should we start, guys? This is very interesting claim. Because this claim will show you that Islam is a stupid cult. Let us go to the Quran and love together. Ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da. You Muslims, you're asking for it. It's not my fault. Don't blame me. Okay. <laughs> ah, unbelievable. I love it. I love it. I love it. The best comedy show ever is the Quran, brother. Let us see what the Quran meant here and get the Abdul must busted. Hmm. All right. Yeah, ma'ashar al insi wal jinn. All right.
this website is not really good the search engine is not helping hmm. let us see here okay 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 <clears throat> Uh, see the other website is not working for some reason like it it worked but when you when you find something uh, uh, you cannot jump to the verse right away let us try it here what we can do what we can do يا معشر الجن والإنس إن استطعتم أن تنفذوا من أقطار السماوات والأرض فانفذوا لا تنفذون إلا بسلطان <laughs> This is about God speaking By the way, I will go to the verse dimension Let me show you what the God of Islam is talking about The God of Islam, he speak That when shaitan Any human if they decide to go out of the zone of the earth, Allah will shoot their ass with the shooting star. And here specifically, he is speaking about shooting the genie in his ass. If you go to the verse number, let us see, let us see if we can find it in there in the English right away. Hold on. Oh boy. Chapter 55, verse number 35. When you try to fly out of the zone of the earth, you genie, Allah will shoot your ass with heat of fire, flash of brass, and you will not be able to escape. Abdul, right now as we speak, we have our NASA ship landing on Mars. Right now as we speak. NASA Life Watch Inside Mars Landing Online. Your God, He challenged mankind and the genie to go out of the zone of the earth, and yet we are there from long time. Your God claim that we cannot escape the zone of the earth and the sky. And if we try, he will shoot our ass. May Allah ask you. Unbelievable. Let us read the interpretation for this word so the Muslim, they will not say, I am making things up, brother. Ibn Kathir O oh, assembly of jinn and man If you are able to pass beyond the zone of the heaven and the earth then pass beyond them, but you will never be able to pass them. <laughs> I thought your God is speaking about a human being will go and fly. Your God here is saying you cannot, except with the authority of Allah. If you ask what does that mean, they will say to you, only prophet they can do, because Muhammad, he went in the top of a flying donkey, correct? Meaning, you will never be able to escape Allah orders and decrees because encompass you you will never be able to avoid the avert his rule and judgment because you are surrounded by whatever you may be and then he continue it's also about gathering when the angels comprise comprising seven lines in every direction will surround the creatures none of the creatures cannot escape so guys the angels will, will, will surround us from everywhere and we will see okay now read carefully here there will be sent against you showers of fire which mean shooting fires 
from copper and you will not be able to defend yourself if you try to escape the zone of the earth do you see it this is Allah's defense system here he says Do we have any Muslim want to call? Any Muslim want to call? Before we continue reading, please, if there is any Muslim here want to correct us, prove us wrong, because we can change the interpretation for you, brother. Anyone? In different verse in the Quran, the Quran says the following. Let us laugh more about the same story. Uh. Muhammad is speaking that if anyone try to fly to the sky because he want to spy at Allah and this is something maybe the CIA or the KGB will try to do or even the genie Allah is going to shoot his ass again and you will not be able to do so read careful with me chapter 36 verse number 6 Allah tell us that he has adorned the lowest heaven with heavy with heavy heavenly bodies for those among the people of the earth who look at the stars so the stars according to Islam exist only in the lowest heaven <laughs> and he says وَلَقَدْ زَيَّنَّ السَّمَاءَ الدُّنْيَا بِمَصَابِيحَ وَجَعَلْنَاهَا رُجُومًا لِلشَّيَاطِينَ and we intended we we indeed we have adorned the nearest heaven with lamps and we made them we have made such a lamps as missiles to drive away the shaitan. Explanation. How we Allah drive away the shaitan? If the genie or mankind, they try to get out of the, of the earth, to go to the heaven, Allah will show their ass. Read with me. And indeed, we have put the big stars in the heaven and beautified it for the beholder. And we have guarded it from every outcast shaitan. Except him who steal the hearing Allah teaching the Muslim that there is genie who spy at him. They try to steal the hearing He pursued by clear flaming Of fire Against every rebellious shaitan mean every insolent and unbonded devil when they want to uh, uh, if if is drop on a news of the heaven see they want us they want to spy at the news of the heaven so when they try to spy a person fire comes and burn him so the Quran confirmed that you cannot leave the zone of the earth and the heaven if you try to do so Allah will shoot your ass do you see it and he claimed that sometimes shaitan they might able to get a close before Allah showed them and steal some information it's except such as a snatch away something by stealing <laughs> except the one among the shayateen who managed to get something which is who had let us see maybe maybe this Abdul hello hello Unbelievable, guys! Don't call me if you are not going to talk. So, when when the shaitan he try to spy at Allah, Allah will shoot his ass by a star. Now, how big the star and how big the shaitan? The shaitan he live in the earth. How we can shoot a star? How we can shoot a star at shaitan? Remember, Muhammad he claimed that he tied up a shaitan to the column of his mosque. Why you why we need a star to knock down a shaitan in his ass? But did you notice here how they fabricate a lie and they make a miracle of something that does not exist? Claiming that the Quran speak about the flying, the Quran speak about the opposite. If you try to leave the earth, Allah will shoot you. Do you see how they fabricate everything up upside down? What is a joke? What is a fiction? It turned to be a miracle. 
I never saw a Muslim making a video speaking about Allah shooting anyone trying to get out of this of the zone of the earth because this is what the Quran is saying. If we go to the interpretation 37 6 to 10. More interpretation just to show you we are not picking up our like uh, uh, certain books we like it doesn't matter all it is the same garbage doesn't matter really in different place in the fiction website they will say to you there's a miracle about the atmosphere Let us see what is the miracle of the atmosphere, just to show you how they lie. What is the atmosphere? <coughs> hmm. Here we go. If you go in this here, in this miracle, they say to you in chapter 6, verse 125, Allah speak about the atmosphere. How is that? He said, those whom Allah, he want to guide, he opened their chest to Islam. And those whom he wants, he leave astray, he makes their chest tight and constructed as if they were scanned into the sky. First of all, my friend, here there's a stupid mistake right away in the front of your eyes. If the Quran is speaking about uh, how you feel when you go up to the sky, that's not about really uh, something new. When you go to the to the mountains, you will have a hard breathing, you know, because you are climbing and you are going to have less oxygen. But this is what what he's saying here. The verse in the Quran saying in Arabic that the one who is as if he his chest became narrow. Dayyakan harijan, dayyakan mean narrow, which means your chest is getting smaller. That is the opposite of what happened when you go up to the sky, because in the sky the pressure is a lot less. This is why airplanes they have to maintain a certain pressure, otherwise, your veins will explode. If you go the higher you go away from the from the ground. The higher you get to the space, the more the pressure goes until the pressure became almost zero. And then you are dead. Actually, you would be dead long before that. So what the Quran here is saying, that your chest will be constructed tight. In fact, is going to be the opposite. Because the less pressure on it, the bigger is going to go. And that's very normal. And this is why... If you go and see those who live in the mountains, you will see that they have different physique. Their chest is bigger, their shoulder is wider because they simply, their lung is bigger than normal people. Why? Because in the mountains, there's less pressure and less oxygen. Same time, in different, uh, like you, usually they have, they have a, a other, I saw another one speaking about uh, uh, the atmosphere in the Quran and they say to you that the Quran speak about seven liars in the sky But as you see here, we just saw that in this verse is speaking about that Allah created seven heavens and the stars is in the lowest heaven So if this is was about seven Atmosphere liars, which is not true by the way The atmosphere does not have seven liars. This is a false there's division between them and the Muslim they try to count what is between to make it seven But the Quran make it clear that those are seven heavens not seven liars inside the space And as you see the Quran claim that in the lowest heaven there is the stars Now if we go to the verse after it And we guard we guard the sky from any shaitan who try to
to get out how really be carefully we say we have guarded with me tours from every men mean from Kulli from everyone who try to to trans uh, transgress or to to go through do you see it so the Quran confirm that nobody can leave the space of the earth and if you try to do so Allah will shoot your ass but as you see man mankind they went to the space already and the funny the first one who went to the space it was a communist you know and the American and then the Chinese they have a spaceship so uh, uh, everybody went to the space except the Muslims and the Muslims now they are paying money for American and for uh, Russian so they can go to the space why Allah is not shooting the ass of the Russian when they try to 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 pass the zone of the earth the zoom of the earth if this is true do you see it now this is alone as long Muslim they speak about science this is obviously very scientific any Abdul Anyone? I don't know. Some sometimes people they send me weird messages. Somebody saying to me, saying, "Isaiah uh, forty-eight eight, I am yeah. Yahweh. That is my name." My friend, Yahweh is not really. You see, it says my name, but it's it's not really a name. It is the word mean I am. Doesn't matter if it's capital letter or a small letter. And just to inform you, in the ancient languages, there's nothing is called capital letter or a small letter. So when God He says Yahweh is my name, that is not really a name. You need to educate yourself. That is a word mean I am, as simple as that. For you, it sounds like a name because it's a foreign word. So you take it, you do the same as the Muslims now. The Muslim, they heard Abraham saying to his father, Azar. So they thought Azar is the name of the father. There's no names in the whole Bible. No names. Even the names you think it's names for normal people, it is not names. You can go and check the book of Genesis. Start from Adam. The word Adam, what does that mean? The word Eve, what does that mean? The word Noah, what does that mean? The names of the children of Noah, what they mean? You will see none of them is a name. This is an amazing book, my friend. It is not a book telling us names. Even the names, you think it's a name there, it's a message of God. There's a video in YouTube made by uh, a wonderful brother. I don't know him. I saw his video. It's called Secret Code in the Book of Genesis. Secret Code in the Book of Genesis. You can go to Genesis 5 and you will find that all the names of Noah and his children, all the names, all the way to Noah, sorry, all the names, they are not really names those are a wonderful message from the Lord you think it's a name because it's a foreign language for you that's why I say it's very important to understand any belief is to understand the language because you will miss a lot if you do not know the language do you understand me Yes, it's a secret code. Why you are laughing? Let me show you. Let me get you busted. This guy is laughing. Our God is great, my friend. We do not need to create fictions and stories like you. You Muslims do that. We don't do that. Your God is a fiction God. He make up lies. 
let me find you the video and let me show you if this is a true or not we don't fabricate things in a second Here we go. There's another place that God appears to have laid out his plan in advance, and that's in some subtleties, and one of which I'd like to share with you in Genesis chapter 5, a genealogy. <coughs> the genealogy in Genesis chapter 5 goes from Adam, the first man, down <coughs> through Noah. And in Genesis chapter 5, if you wade through that, I encourage you to make a list of the names. Adam gives uh, gave birth to Seth. Seth, Enosh. Enosh, Kenan. Kenan, Mahalal. Mahalal, Jared. Jared, Enoch. Enoch, Methuselah. Methuselah, Lamech. And Lamech was the father of Noah. Let's take these names. Ten names. But see, the problem is we need to know what the names mean. And if you have a study Bible or a source, a, a lexicon, what have you, you know that the name Adam means man. As you go through your Bible, when these names are typically first introduced, most of your marginal footnotes will tell you what the name means. Adam means man. Seth means appointed. Enosh means mortal. Kenan means sorrow. Mahalel means the blessed God. Jared means shall come down. Enoch means teaching. Methuselah means his death shall bring. Focus, focus. Lamech means the despairing. And the word Noah means rest or comfort. Now, let's read that genealogy as a sentence. Man is appointed mortal sorrow. The blessed God shall come down teaching that his death shall bring the despairing comfort. Unbelievable. Isn't that wild? <laughs> Unbelievable. And they say to us, where in the Bible it says that there is God, he is going to be the Messiah. Where is in the Bible it says that God, he is going to come and he will be crucified. Where Jesus says, I am God, worship me. Even the names. They witness to Jesus. As I said, they are not names, my friend. We are very naive when we don't educate ourselves. We think those are names. There's no names. Emmanuel is not a name. Yeshua is not a name. Christ is not a name. Yahweh is not a name. Those are description, a message of God to you. There's no name can describe God. No words can contain him. No letters can explain him. For he is a miracle. And God is a miracle. And this is what is the Messiah is. Don't be naive. We belong to the great God who no names can describe anything about him and his glory. God, he presents himself by saying, I am. I am the one who exists. I am the king of the kings. This is why the Messiah always, he says, I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. I am the beginning. I am the end. I am the truth. I am the light. I am the resurrection. I am who I am. We have the true God, and they have nothing but a fiction God who will shoot the genie in his ass if he try to escape the sky. And must be a true story. <laughs> Muslims are copy paste people. Nobody knows even what he's copying. If I ask any Muslim now, when you pray every day, what do you what do you do? J just to show you how stupid this religion is. All of us we knew that the Muslim. 
Hello? Hello. Uh, can you hear me? Your voice is low, my friend. Can you speak louder? Uh, I, can you hear me now? I hear you. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I was watching your show. Uh, it's really interesting. And uh, I just wanted to know what's your opinion on the linguistic miracle of the Quran? There's no uh, such a thing, my friend. It's a lie. Okay. Uh, uh, but Muslims like uh, Noman Ali Khan. I got uh, them busted. I have many videos. I busted them already. Every single one of them is, is a lie. All right. Yeah. Thank you. You can watch those videos I made. Like what? what like what? What? America number 19. Oh, it's a fiction. It's a big fat lie. Okay. Yeah. And my friend, let me ask you a question before you go. Why Allah did not discover the miracle of number 19? Hmm. <laughs> Why Muhammad did not say to them the miracle of number 19? Yeah, you see the Muslim yeah. they come to us with the stories which is very stupid and very funny. Let us assume like the that he said In the book the song of songs, okay, hold on Why Muhammad did not hold the song of songs in his time? He says look at my name Muhammad in the dim 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 there to the Jews Did that after 1400 years he was more educated than Muhammad? Yeah, uh, the dad himself he was speaking about the song of songs in many videos that this is a book of porn he said are you are you are you can you read this book for your child yeah. he was ashamed of it suddenly somebody told him the name of Muhammad is there suddenly the the, the song of songs became holy just yeah, my but, friend always when the Muslim they say something to you use your brain the first thing mm -hmm. should come to your head Muslims always lie to prove yeah. their religion the thing is, I'm not the thing is, I'm not an Arab, all right. So no problem. So, I have tens of videos. You can get my books. I have, may, I have, I wrote many books. I refuted all their false lies with details and reference. Mm -hmm. You can go it's, to Amazon.com and you can get all my books. Just type Christian Prince or any Amazon, not necessarily Amazon.com, Amazon Germany, wherever you you live, and you will find the list of my books. And I refuted all their their lies. It is a pure lies. And this is why you see okay. I am so, life and air. Li say. Life and air. And did you see me? Did you hear me saying who dare to call me and choose any one of them, including mm. including the one about numbers? Mm. But they were not there. Why? Yeah. Where where yeah. is where is the where is Noam Khan? I challenge all of them. Mm. Nobody well, there. He, he he makes videos like about uh, the if you read the chapters from. From the first uh, passages and the last passages, they my friend, they are my friend, similar. My friend, it's a, the, 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 the uh, this is this. Uh, first of all, this is stupid. That can be exist. Like you know, this is what Naaman Khan he says. Uh, as an example, they say to you, I, they found the DNA in the Quran. Okay, so what DNA? DNA. So mm -hmm. any word have DNA is going to be about DNA. So let, like, if I go with him, excuse my language. I'm not being speaking filthy. I can find you tons of words in the Quran seeing the word shit. If I if I do what he do, because he took only two letters out of a word. You know what I mean? Mm. So what they what they try to make to make it look like a miracle is a joke. Uh. And they can choose one for us. Let us see. We have we have a caller. Hold on. Hello. <laughs> no, sorry. Hello. <laughs> Are you there? All right, guys. Look at the Muslim prayer just to show you that this is a false cult. When a Muslim he pray five times a day, what he say? Chapter of Al Fatiha. What is a chapter of Al Fatiha? Read with me and laugh. <clears throat> In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Hold on. Is that the Muslim saying or Allah saying? Uh, no, Allah is saying. So if Allah is saying, if Allah is the one who is speaking, why he say in the name of Allah if he is Allah? Allah then he says a praise be to Allah the most gracious most sustainer of the world then look at Allah look Allah he's stuck with the same sentence he out of word isn't you who just said here 
most gracious most merciful so why you are repeating the same sentence here are you okay brother <laughs> what's wrong brother now the funny joke did not stop here the Muslim he recite this five times a day, but this is not his own words. This is what Allah said. Why you are calling Allah saying to him what he said? Imagine you call me and you say, Christian Prince, in the name of Christian Prince, the most gracious, the most merciful. I am the one who said that. Imagine, imagine you have a son. You have a son, he call you five times a day, in a certain time, in a certain moment. You answer the phone. Before you say hello, he starts saying, Bismillahi lahmani lahim, a'udhu billahi min al-saytani al-nadeen, al-nani al-nadeen, al-nani al-nadeen, al-nani al-nadeen, al-nani al-nadeen, al-nani al-nadeen, al-nani al-nadeen, bye. And then, after a few hours, he call you again, and he say the same thing. You answer the phone. Bye. <laughs> What is the prayer? What is the prayer? I thought you are praying to Allah. What is the prayer? This is what Allah said. How annoying, how stupid it is to go to your phone and you found 1.4 billion messages saying the same, the same thing you said yourself. I wonder what Allah would do with them. Do he erase them every day or he listen to all? Unbelievable. This is a religion. This is a religion. If this is a religion, what is called? What is the prayer? Any Muslim want to tell us? What is the prayer? What is your prayer? When you pray, what do you, what do you say? You're not praying. You're repeating what Allah said. And you cannot explain to us why Allah, he chose the three names to introduce himself, but yet you Muslims against the Trinity. And why Allah, he say in the name of Allah, when he is Allah, from now on, when I start my broadcasting, I will say to you, in the name of Christian Prince. And by the way, Muslims, they love echo, so I would do echo. In the name of a Christian prince, 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 the most gracious, 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 merciful, 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 merciful. I'm going to give you versions, 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 never been used, 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 used. They are brand new from Victoria's Secret, 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 secret. They have no panties, panties, panties. They are so hot, hot, hot. I'm burned, <laughs> I'm burned, I'm burned. To the point I don't even use any heater in my house, house, house. And even I do fry my eggs, 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 eggs over their skin, skin, skins. It's a miracle, miracle, miracle. It's a true story, 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 story. My worshippers, I am God, worship me. I will give you an orgasm of 70 years, 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 years. Don't do it now, later, later, later. Keep your pant on now, please, 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 please. 
I mean, obviously, this God is God. Who is who? Who can give a man seventy years orgasm unless this is God? You tell me. Nobody. <laughs> seventy years orgasm. I was asking myself why Allah did not promise me like 69 years I mean 69 is more sexual <laughs> and fit with the topic <laughs> hold on hold on hold on I just remember a miracle have to do with 69 any one of you remember any one of you remember there is a 69 miracle in the Quran. Let me help the Muslims and discover a new miracle in the Quran, brother and sisters. If we go in the Quran, we will find the Quran says the following. This website is really horrible. <laughs> you can't find anything in the search engine. I don't know why. Let us see here. Switch the website. <laughs> <coughs> why people they call me and they hang up I'm not sure why it's a miracle all right look at this discovery chapter 69 verse number 32 it says that Allah will insert in the anus of anyone he don't like a long chain and this chain is so huge brother sisters do you notice that this verse speaking about the anus yet it's speaking or it is numbered as 69 obviously this is a mathematical number <laughs> and a miracle Chapter 69, chapter 69, verse number 30. Read and love. By the way, I want everybody to download my videos because soon I'm going to do cleaning. From time to time, I do cleaning for my channel. I don't keep videos on my channel. Uh, let us read together. Uh, we need some special kind of uh, action and music in the background. Let us see with this story here. Can we find something? Hmm. We need to look for some something here. All right, look at this. Then fasten him on a chain, wherefore the length is seventy cubit. Oh. And Kabul Ahbar said. Every ring of it, which means the chain, will be equal to the entire amount of iron found in the world. Oof, 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 oof. Imagine how big this chain is. Every ring of it has equal amount of iron which is exist in the whole world. Obviously, this is science. And all of this will go inside the anus. <laughs> then fasten him then fasten him brother and insert it will be entered into his buttocks and pulled out of his mouth then they will be arranged on his this chain like loctus which is going to be roasted. 
Man. I was wondering where I saw that last time. You enter something into the buttocks of somebody, he is a human being, and then is going to come from his nose. Allah will enter chain in the anus of the one who he don't like, and every ring of this chain is equal to all the iron in the world. By the way, this is very scientific because obviously the anus is so big to the point it can take billions of tons of iron. <laughs> I advise you, my friend, if you are not a believer, to go and buy a lot of Vaseline because Allah is targeting your anus. Sorry, you know what I can say? I mean... <laughs> Watch your anus, my friend. Or buy insurance over it. Put Vaseline, do something. As you see, it's so big. How are you going to insert? And why Allah, why Allah he chose the anus? Uh, this is why Allah he made anus for mankind. Huh? Until now, we did not have one Muslim calling us to prove us wrong. Did you know this? Did you know this? What is the Abdul who they are so proud about their religion and what is this? Look at this. Look at this story here. If a drop of lead like this, the guy is describing the chain for us. The guy is describing the chain which Allah will insert in the anus. If a drop of lead like this and he, he appointed to the skull bones were sent from heaven to earth and it is distance 500 years to travel, it would reach the earth before night. Hey, look, supposedly because it's heavy, so heavy, because so heavy, even if it's from 500 year, years, the distance is going to arrive to earth before night. Uh, by the way, a five years distance measured by the speed of camel or what? <laughs> True story, brother. True story. Brothers and sisters, I advise you to protect your anus. You have a golden opportunity now to save your anus from the big chain. Say the Shahada. Repeat after me. Please, Allah, leave the anus alone. Uh, sorry, this is not the Shahada. I, I, man, I'm reading because. Okay. Hello? Hello. Hi. It's Christian, yeah? Yes, this is Christian Prince with you. Our life on air. Who is with me? Okay. You're streaming right now on, on the internet, yeah? Yes. Are you a Muslim, my friend? Um. Sorry? Are you a Muslim? I'm not a Muslim. I'm a Christian. All right. But uh, I've got uh, I've got a couple of questions for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, you know, you showed us that web page that with that those like miracles of Quran and all all the stuff. Okay. And as probably as far as you know, as I don't I don't know much about the about the about the Quran, mm. but as far as I found out, uh, there there's some mention of kind of a flat Earth theory. Okay, because uh, at some point in the Quran it says that the sun sets down in a muddy water, so right, it has to be some kind of a flat flat Earth mm. that everything turns around. So how come on this web page that you showed us? They are trying to show us the round earth. Well, you see, the Muslim they try to fool, uh, to fool us if we are ignorant. It's not their fault. You see, if uh, if somebody scam you, it's not the fault of the scammer. Mm. It's the fault. It's the fault mm. of the one who believe. 
Now, did you see where it says the Earth is 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 round here in the in the web page? Show it to me so we can open it. Where it says that? No, no, there was there was a, there was a, a, a topic of a speed of light. Oh, okay. And it shows the round Earth. Oh, it says that. Okay, I did not notice. Hold on. Uh, where it says that? I didn't see. The, the, the main main okay. menu. I, I can't see that on the on the on the on your. Yeah, the Quran says uh, sky become difficult to us to breathe. I don't see anywhere it says the. Anyway, uh, but the no, no. Well, well, those people, you know, think is. Uh... But, but I know, like the, the the Muslim, they say this is true. The Muslim, they claim. Let me find it. Actually, they claim that the Quran says the Earth is flat. Let me find it for you. But absolutely, this is the the the, the Earth is round. Sorry, not flat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I for know, sure, this is absolutely false, and we can get it busted so easy. Oh. That's another example of miracle that never happened. Yeah, well, actually, it's the opposite. What the Quran says, yeah. uh, what the Quran says, is totally the opposite uh, yeah, from what know, the Muslims know, they claim. You know, and I'm, I'm going to get no, good. You remind us of this, so we can show people that uh, 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 you know we can we can get them busted regarding this. I'm going to find the, the link, or sorry, the web page where they say that. And Christian, there's a big, big problem with your stream. Your stream is about five, ten minutes later. Five, and ten minutes later from what? Yes, like. Uh, you mean the I podcast? Speak to you now, mm. I, I know I speak to you now. Oh, yeah. But I will, I will hear myself, and I will see my myself calling to you mm. in about five or ten minutes. Maybe this is your internet. I don't know if because if this. No, is... no, no! I've got a very good internet. Yet, really. Maybe. I don't know why, because I have a good internet too. I, I, I live in Saudi. Uh, I live in back Afghanistan, so we are the best. Um, uh, we have the best internet, my friend, in the world. Uh, uh, okay, here we go. I, fo I, fo I found here. Uh, yeah, yeah. The Muslim they claim in chapter seventy-nine that the Earth have the shape of an egg or stretch. Egg. Mm -hmm. Let me see. And but but the sun sets down in a muddy water. Yeah, but this is a different story. Now we will we will focus in this one first. Uh, Quran. And this is a, this is a this is a fabrication made by an, an idiot. His name is Wadi. But uh, he took it <laughs> down. A as, as, like yeah, this. he took it down as soon as I got him busted. You know. Here we go. I found it. Uh, let me let me show it in the screen. So and I will answer you there. All right. Mm -hmm. I can't can't see that. Yeah, okay. See yeah. That. Just go go on the screen and you will see it. All right, my friend. Okay. This is guys what they are talking about. A Muslim here is posting in the internet saying, "Few translation of Quran seventy nine thirty says that the Earth is an egg shaped." Few trans translation. That's a big fat lie. Not a single translation say that. Not a single translation says that. Well, ardu ba'da dalika dahaha. Well, ardu ba'da dalika dahaha. Let us go to the Quran and show you how they lie and get them busted. They say they claim that the word dahaha means egg shape. It is the opposite. It's flat. The word dahaha. Mean immediate flat. All right. Let's go to the Quran. Man, this uh, website is really bad. We cannot even. We cannot even find. Maybe let us uh, get the whole sentence. Stupid search engine. It's the same. Um, okay, let us go here. What we can do, but I want to show you all the translation. You know, um, chapter seventy-nine, verse number thirty, as you see in the front of you. Translation of Yusuf Ali. The problem with this website. That's why I'm not using it. When you click at the link, usually it takes you to the verse right away. But now, as you see, I have to screen all the way down. And this is not really 
practical. Let us try here. Um, so we can show you all the translation and how they lie. That's why I say never, never believe a Muslim. Never. Never. You know, it is it is impossible. I will show you all the possible translation. I will choose them all. With no exception. I don't know how to highlight all one click, but look like it's impossible. All right, now we have them all. <clears throat> he he spread out the earth. He spread out the earth. He spread out the earth. He's, he stretched out the earth. He spread out the earth. He spread out the earth. He spread. He expanded after that the earth. He spread the earth. He extended the earth. He spread the earth. Go down more. This guy, he's just typing it in and in, in using uh, Latin letters. By the way, this is how Muslim they read for you Quran. They claim that they are reading Arabic, but the fact they are reading this. Well, Arda Bada Darika Dahaha. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi. Yes, my friend. Go ahead. I thought you lived in the USA. You thought I live in USA? Yes. Isn't it USA and Afghanistan these days? Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, isn't, isn't it us now American? We are taking over Afghanistan, brother? Uh, I'm not a Muslim. Okay. So what's, what's your point, my friend? What do you want to say? I'm just joking with the guy. So I told the, the guy you live in Afghanistan, so it was a joke. It is a joke. Yes, it's a joke. Isn't it oh, obvious? Okay, okay. Yeah. Anything else, okay. my friend? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, doesn't the Bible speak of a uh, flat earth? Too? No. Actually, the, in the book of Job, it says it clearly, the globe of the earth. No, it says sure. it says that God, sure. he hang he hang the earth on nothing and speak about the shape of the earth. It says the globe of the earth. He hang the earth on nothing. Which nobody know about that ever before. In, in which language? In the Hebrew language. What do okay. you think? The, the the you know the Bible will be written in which word? In that those are Jews. And, and how about the Genesis that uh, God made the firmament to divide the waters below from the waters above? Yeah. And <laughs> what, what is that? Well, this is how God separated uh, you know separated the earth from everything around it. Which means yeah, but the uh, waters above from waters below. The water uh, above the firmament there is water. Yeah, like you know, God created all what belong to the earth. We have a cloud, we have the rain come from the cloud, we have many sources of water, but the main main water is what's coming from the ground. The water, the earth was covering the whole earth. So God he separated between and he made layers of for, for this earth. So now we have atmosphere. We have the we have a cloud. This is all is a natural thing, yes, but it's a creation of God. Okay, and uh, and it says that uh, he placed the stars in the firmament. I don't even understand you. I have a hard time to understand. What's he again? That it says in Genesis he he, uh, he created the stars and placed them in the firmament. And. And how is that be? How, how is it possible in, if uh, the, the Earth is, is a globe? I don't understand what. What is possible? How is it so if Earth is a globe? Well, so I don't understand what. Say again. Can, can you type your question for me in Skype? Type it for me. Okay. Type it. Bye. <laughs> okay. God created the stars. He put them in the sky. And what the problem? You know. As you see here, this is Tafsir al Jalalain. The Muslim they lie, they say it is about 
making the earth in the shape of an egg but in fact it is about making it flat which is totally the opposite for, for from what from what uh, it says uh, yeah I don't know what what is the problem if God he put the stars in the sky for you that is a problem for you where he put them do you think he did not put them in the sky you think he put them in the kitchen If you go in the book of Genesis right away from the beginning it says that God in the beginning he created the light he said that we light and light was and that makes sense you will not see in the book of Genesis nowhere he says that he created the night because there is no need to create the night the night is darkness is already exists darkness is nothing darkness is the absence of light if you go in the Quran it says the opposite it says that Allah created the day and the night If you go here with me, you will see. Let us see. Let us go to the verses in the front of us. Confirm that Muhammad, God, he have no idea. Every verse, any 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 chapter in the Quran is speaking of something stupid and something false. All those verses, I challenge any Muslim to choose for me something, and he will find it all is speaking of something false. Uh, in chapter 13, verse number 3, it says, وَهَوَ الَّذِي مَدَّ الْأَرْضِ What مَدَّ الْأَرْضِ mean? He made it flat. The earth is extended. As you see, the Muslim trying to say, and then the Quran make another pupu. The Quran claimed that Allah He placed mountains in the top of the earth. And what why he put the mountains in the top of it so the mountains will, will the earth will not move. And the Muslim actually they make a claim about this, saying this is a miracle because mountains they uh, they stabilize the earth, but this is not really what mountains is about. Mountains happen because the earth is not stabilized Because the earth is moving and the earth always have to be moving otherwise the earth will be dead The magma underneath of the tectonic plate If the earth of the tectonic plate stop moving, it means the earth magma is dead and if that happened we are dead too So when the Muslim they claim that Allah he placed the mountains in the top of the earth if you go in the Quran it says he used the word Autada. Allah, He placed the mountains as nails. The same you fix your tent with it. Well, <clears throat> Jibala Autada, chapter 78, verse number 7. So Allah, he placed the mountains in the top of the earth and he made it as a pages down in the ground. And this is absolutely the opposite from what we learn from science, that mountains happen from inside the ground, not from above. Mountains simply is the pressure of the tectonic plate or the pr pressure of the magma, which is called the volcano. There's many reasons to, to, to uh, like uh, for mountains to form. None of them is about mountains coming from above and somebody placing the mountain in the top of the earth. Do we have any Muslim would like to call? <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim? May they, may they, any Muslim want to prove us wrong at least with one thing. This is why the Muslims, they pray in the direction of the Kaaba because the Quran teaches them the earth is a flat. So wherever you go, you are going to face the Kaaba. 
yesterday or the day before yesterday I think a Muslim he called me and he said in the book of Kings it says that the Jews when they go to war they have to pray in the direction of uh, Jerusalem yeah but this is, does not mean they are facing direction really there's nobody can face Jerusalem you cannot face it those are people they are leaving the city defending the city not leaving to the end of the world they are not immigrant that's why it says in the war time when your soldiers go they face Jerusalem and they pray it's not a metaphorical for them because they are there and if I pray in the direction of Jerusalem it must be metaphorical it cannot be I'm facing the direction of Jerusalem because it's impossible I live in America how I can face Jerusalem this is why you know when a Muslim he speak about this we as a Christian we don't pray in direction of Jerusalem why because this is not what the Bible says did you ask yourself why Christian don't pray in the direction of Jerusalem we don't do we have any Abdul <clears throat> If any Muslim would like to call, I promise you we will be nice to you. We will speak to you with respect. All right. Somebody saying to me, How Islam enter into Somalia? My friend. How Islam entered into Somalia, how Islam leaves Somalia, it's not my business. Somalia, because of Islam, became a hell. Go and see what happened to Somalia because of Islam. Don't you see? This is the question. Why Somalia is horrible because of Islam? Today and the day before and the day before and the day before and the day before, every day there's suicide bomber. Why? Because it is a Muslim country. As simple as that. Yes, my friend. Uh, <clears throat> I CP? Yes. Uh, we're, st we're still on the subject of the uh, the miracles in the Quran, right? Yeah. Uh, so I just want to ask uh, something about uh, that they claim about uh, the dark matter that is mentioned that is mentioned through the verse of like uh, the seven heavens of the earth and something like that. Uh, what do I mean by that? Because they say that um, in light of modern discoveries in astronomy, the scientists have found out that there is dark matter spread across the vast universe, which is invisible. And because of this verse, say, I, 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 sorry, I don't understand. You say slower. What you say again? Uh, very, very se se seven skies and what? Uh, <clears throat> well, um, the miracles uh, that is explained through this verse. It says it is Allah who has created seven heavens of, and of the earth, the like of them. Mm -hmm. uh, Quran chapter sixty-five, verse twelve. Okay. So uh, they mentioned something about dark matter. And then uh, this proves that the Quran is the the thing, you know. How? Um, how? What? What? Uh, I don't understand. How? What, uh, what, is, uh, the, what is the I just, What is the miracle? Do you have a link? Uh, yes. Yes. I'll. I'll okay. Give, me, give me the link, please. Give me the link, and so we can put, uh, show it in the screen, and everybody can laugh with us. Okay. Thank you. I'll, I, I guarantee I'll, you. I guarantee you a laugh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'll, I'll the session now. Okay. Just send me the the, the text, please. Uh, okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> there is many things I feel sorry for the Muslims you know the Muslim, there is many of them they are victims of other Muslims who they lie fabricate miracles you see first of all the Quran says that Allah he created seven earth and seven heavens where is the seven earth any Muslim can tell us where we can find the seven earth seven heaven you can get away with it right you can fabricate any story you wish but where we can find the seven earth <clears throat> all right he sent me a link <coughs> let us see miracles of holy quran <coughs> 
movement of the earth and other mystical bodies okay you see first of all here this, this uh, verse here in front of us the Muslim they lie they are trying to say to you that here the the uh, let, let us read together hmm. due to many misconceptions the old time like considering the Sun and the moon or as God worships the Almighty Lord remind remind the ignorant once of reality of the universe and things present presented in ag it was normally through the mountains are always steady stable and more uh, never move but with the message of time geologists discover uh, uh, referred to the earth is a quax as a result of usual shifting of a plates of these hills the second manuscript which is not exist says that you think that the mountains are uh, uh, ridged, but in fact they are moving. The fact this is a lie. <clears throat> the verse here is speaking about the judgment day. This is how the Muslim they lie to you. You see, he's trying to make it like this is here a verse is speaking about. Okay, you think the mountains is 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 fixed, but isn't it you? In different verse in the Quran say the mountains is fixed. Isn't it you? Who said in different verse in the Quran the mountains is fixed? So how it's fixed is not fixed here. Here is speaking about the judgment day, and to to prove that we will get them busted immediately. Chapter twenty seven, verse number eighty eight. As you see, this is the Muslim website. This is the interpretation. I have nothing to do with it. Whatever there is there. We will read it together live. And this is Tafsir al Jalani. <coughs> <clears throat> okay <coughs> and you see the mountains as you notice them uh, in the moment uh, blessed is posing them but it's still century they're replaced because of the term on this size etc the world will mountain will be drifting like manner until eventually fall the ground whereby flattened by the becoming like troughs wolf uh, Quran uh, uh, Q one zero fifteen, I think you mean ten fifteen. Uh, the import of a preceding sentence, which has extended ex ex constru uh, constructions, its uh, agent Allah God after omission operator, namely the enemy. And where, where is the, where is the explanation? Hold on, hold on. It doesn't say here anything really. That way. Uh, okay, flying creation. You see the 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 issue here. It shows us only the verse. Let us go to the whole chapter, the whole interpretation, so we can read. This is about the judgment day. Let us go to make a theory because in make a theory he will show you the verses before it and the verses after it and give you the whole explanation. <clears throat> Ibn Kathir. <clears throat> uh, always, when a Muslim say something to you, go check their scars and you will see how the lies always is is. Uh, is get busted as you see here if you go and read the verses before you will see that the angel will come and he will blow the trumpet and this is something stolen from the Bible that when 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 the Messiah come in the in, in, in the day of judgment the angels will blow the, tr the trumpet and the, and the Lord will come with his with his glory then here it says here is speaking about other prophecy of the judgment day that the false messiah the antichrist will come and he would do this and etc and he would try to destroy the kaaba blah 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 and here that the jah will emerge from the ummah and etc for 40 or blah 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 so this is all as about judgment day as you see then we go down then the sore trumpet will be blown and no one will hear it but the one who uh, tilt his head to hear the sound 
means it will tell so it is about the judgment day again okay uh, all of this is about judgment day read with me carefully and you will see the mountain you think they are solid but they shall pass they shall pass in the in the future they shall pass they are not passing hmm? they shall pass away as passing away of the cloud chapter 27 verse number 88 meaning you will see them if they are fixed if they will remain as they are but they will pass away as passing away of the cloud they will move away from their places this is like the ayat and he quote the other all of this here is explained what the judgment they read with you carefully and they ask you concerning the mountain say i am the lord who will bless them and scatter them as particles of dust do you see it did we prove it now that this has have nothing to do with what they claim guys is that clear this is about the judgment day eh? allah is saying supposedly he will destroy all the mountains you think those mountains are going to stay they will pass like wind like like a cloud all right so this is the first lie we got it busted what is the second one in light modern okay let's go down to that page you send me <clears throat> chapter 21 verse number 33 the mistake here and this is the Muslim translation I'm going to use as you see in the front of you let me make it bigger the text <coughs> it is he who created the night and the day guys anyone agree that God should create the night that is a scientific mistake because the night is exist the night is nothing light night if there's no day if there's no light the night is exist by itself there, this it's uh, night is not something physical is that correct guys is that correct night darkness is not something physical to create what is darkness that is stupid to say in order in order and look what he said he created night and he created the day which means the day created after the night i think a muslim trying to call hold on All right, forget this guy. He's not answering. Then he say here. The above line. Oh. Hello. Hello, Christian. Yes. It's me again. I called you like uh, 10 minutes ago about uh, that flat earth and why. Yeah, they but are... let us finish this uh, person, please. Uh, Sorry? We, we need to finish the answer this gentleman who uh, who asked me the question. Then we can, you know, give Okay, you... cool. All right, because okay. he asked me, he sent me the link and we are asking him. All right, we are answering him. Okay, all right, okay, cool. thank you. Thanks. Because we want to finish one by one, we don't want to just uh, open 100 topic. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, Hussein. How are you? Good, uh, like I learned a lot of stuff from you in uh, historical facts from you, so I just wanted to ask you a question about my own country. I don't and, know about uh, your country. My, I, don't, I don't know about your country. I don't care, my friend. I, I am not. A, I'm not a specialist in Somalia, but what I know about Somalia that Islam screwed your country. Do you agree with me or not? How, many, know, how many suicide bomber in the last month in Somalia? Can you count for me? Just the last month. A lot. Okay. So why are you asking me about your country? Ask yourself: Who is the one screwing your country? Who is the one doing suicide bombing? Is it the Christians? Is it the Jews? Is it the Does Islam accept suicide bombing? Yes, Islam accepts suicide bombing. Who who said that? Because Islam, all of it is based on sacrificing yourself. The Quran says that Allah He buy from you your soul. He buy it from you. He's the devil. He buy your soul. You say it to him, and he give you instead versions of vagina. And this is why those suicide bombers they do suicide themselves. 
But suicide is haram. Where it says haram? Your prophet himself tried to commit suicide. Did your prophet himself try many times to commit suicide, or not? Uh, that's that's a lie. That's a lie. Are you challenging yeah. me now? Are you challenging me? Say yeah. It. Okay. Here we go. I, I can't believe that at all. All right. Okay. Let us see. Let us see if this is true or not. This is Sahih al Bukhari. And this is your prophet. He tried to commit suicide many times. Each time he tried to jump from the top of the mountain. Jibril, he come, he hold him from his panty, and he said to him, Don't do it. You are a prophet for sure. Read with me carefully. Okay. But after a few days, you can see the screen? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> after a few days, Waraka died, and the divine inspiration was also passed. For a while, the prophet becomes so sad, as we have heard that he had intended several times to throw himself from the top of the high mountains and every time he went to the top of the mountain in order to throw himself down Jibreel <coughs> would appear to him and say oh muhammad <coughs> oh habibi muhammad you are a truly 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 a prophet <coughs> don't do it and then the prophet he come down and go back home and then it says and whenever whenever the inspiration stop again he tried to repeat the same story, tried to commit suicide again and again. Do you see it? Uh, yeah. Okay. So why are you saying you don't believe it? Well, this is new to me. This is what? This is new to me. This is new to me. All the facts you're... What, what do you mean, not me? Who are you? Not me? This is your prophet, not you. Yeah, your prophet. Your... No, I mean, this is new to me. New. New? To me. Ah, new to you. Ah, okay, okay. But, you know, thanks God... I mean, sorry, thank, thanks Allah that uh, uh, the angel Jabrini appeared to him in the last moment and he held him from his uh, bikini before he threw himself. Otherwise, we will have a suicide prophet now. What if what if Jibreel, he, he was stopped in the traffic by a police uh, man, give him ticket, and he was late to hold the bikini of the prophet and the prophet, he jumped from the top of the mountain. What do you do? By the way, the prophet is not from Somalia. This is uh, all stupid shit that I never. I, I agree with you. This is uh, you know wh which one is the shit for you? Which one is the Muhammad is jumping or Muhammad is crazy? All these hadiths that like you know I've been told a lot about my prophet and mm. like I'm learning all these new stuff things that I've I've never seen before. Mm. So I'm gonna be looking into it. Uh, I watch your shows. Okay. So yeah. But don't do what the prophet do. I mean, just be. I know, smart. yeah, yeah, of course not. Okay, no, no. because I'm not there to hold you, you know. Yeah. Okay. Anything else, my friend? No, I'm just. But I appreciate your channel and. Thank thanks. you. Thank you. Take care. The prophet who want to commit mm -hmm. suicide. Have you ever the fun? Now we go back here. So the first mistake here, they say that the the the. the the moon is a create uh, the, the night is a created that is a mistake then he say here the above line of this uh, scientific uh, uh, scientified script indicate the the vastness of universe in sense they generally used to take the sun and the moon as a stationary some years ago but the new science <coughs> hello hello yes my friend. how you doing i'm all right yeah um i first of all you're doing a great job and uh second i have uh the same abdul sheikh tala he wants to come on again he just texted me who which abdul is that sheikh tala uh this guy is a kid my friend just block him <clears throat> all right he's like a bug you know he will be he will right. be he will be bugging you for the rest of your life just to block him he, all right he's he's hurt you know that's what oh, they God, do we spank them we spank them they get so upset they think if they call back they can get, seek revenge but the, each time they call we spank them and this guy he never give up of spanking maybe he like it you see the quran says if somebody is a gay uh hurt him and the interpretation says you beat him with sandals but if uh -huh. there is somebody is a gay and you beat him with sandals he might like it and get excited there's a story there's a story of a guy he is from the companion of the prophet he said if I know who is the one who did kill Uthman, the caliphate, I am going mm -hmm. to do, excuse my language, I'm going to do F him. A gay, he was yeah. there. 
This is this is a story not of me. I can show the reference. A gay was standing there. He said, "I am the one who killed Uthman." So now the other guy, he have to do what he promised. He have to eat yeah. him. So he put him down. He made him bend over and start doing it. And the guy that gave from underneath, he was saying, "If I know that this is the penalty of killing Uthman, I would love to kill Uthman every day." Wow. And this is what this guy he want. He want to call me to say he is the one who killed Uthman, but I am not a gay, sadly. Thank you, my friend. All right. Take care. <laughs> if I know that this is the punishment of killing Uthman, I would love to kill Uthman every day. Every day. Takbir. Let us continue here. But now science have approved that not only they are former tur turns around every 27 days around the equator and take 31 days rotate around the poles the later not only spins about uh, it is uh, axis in 27 days but its orbit etc 27 blah, 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 blah. okay so let us see the conclusion numbers of seven so what where is hold on where is the miracle here anyone understand what, what is the miracle in this thing the line from this uh, well where is the miracle i did not see okay hold on. maybe i maybe i missed something this showed the relevance of the quran technical uh, attitude uh, 37 uh, number was in 24 hours the orbit of the sun 365 days okay let me show you how stupid what the muslim tried to say to you First of all, if the Muslims agree that the year is a 365 days, why Allah He chose the lunar calendar for them? If Allah He knew that the year is a 365 days, why He is choosing the lunar calendar? Secondly, they say to you that the word Qamar in the Quran repeated 27 days, which is absolute lie, because there is the, the Quran. You see, uh, I don't want to go there, but we have to. Let us show you. <clears throat> the word Qamar, not only the word Qamar mean moon in the in, in in Arabic, the word Shahar is a word mean Qamar. The Muslim today they use the word Shahar as a word mean the, the 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 month, but the fact this is not what it says. This is why it says Shahar Ramadan, الذي أنزل فيه القرآن. هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شاهد منكم الشهر فليصمه. so whoever of you witness the moon he should fast it. witness the moon. so the Muslim they, they try to count for you the word moon as they wish but they cannot make it as they claim it is seventy twenty time. so if we put the word here شهر it appear twice in the Quran if it's exact word. <clears throat> it appears 17 times if it's not exact word it is the word Qamar <coughs> never exist even one time by itself unless we make it Al Qamar Now we find that the word Al Qamar appear only in three verses. So they try their best to fabricate numbers and to make it as they wish. They do their best. Uh, let us go back here so we can get more, more, more stupidity. You will notice here that the verse the Muslim they quote for us, chapter 21, verse number 33, have a huge mistake. I'm going to read their translation, not mine, so we can show you the mistake. I want you guys in the text there to tell me what is the mistake you notice in this verse. Who of you can notice the mistake, a huge mistake? <clears throat> Anyone notice what is the mistake? Let me make the text bigger. <clears throat> <coughs> Look like I will have cold. Anyone notice? Look with me. The Quran claim that the day and the night and the moon and the sun, they are swimming in an orbit. <laughs> 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 
the stupid author of the Quran he believed that the day and the night they are an object by themselves the same as the Sun the same as the moon you see here the word that says all all you see it right let me zoom in all you see it all is this word in Arabic kul kulun all of them in Arabic we don't say kul unless it's for more than for whatever before you know it's not for two all all and each of them this is what it means all and each swim in an orbit secondly here the word but the word felak this word can be a word mean a boat and this is mostly what the verse is saying Muhammad is copying those who believe in the space uh, what they call it the witchcraft the space uh, uh, you know reading the space and reading the, the, the stars I don't know what they call it so uh, those people believe that every everything in the sky have a boat the moon have a boat the Sun have a boat Mercury have a boat uh, Venus have a boat every everyone have a boat they are swimming in a boat this is why you see in the all the Greek mythology those planets they, they are in a boat and this is exactly what the Quran the Quran says the word is swimming in order to swim what swim mean <clears throat> what the word swim mean the swim is very clear you know it's like moving inside an object like water or a liquid the space is empty so we swim in, what do you mean we swim how they swim so they are swimming and here the word by the way uh, they they come with the word orbit all right but this is not really an orbit it is a, like I say it is like a fixed course and let me show you how we can prove that in different verse or different place who is the best to explain the Quran better than Muhammad himself? <clears throat> Let's see. All right. Read with me, please. Once I was with the Prophet in the mosque at the time of the sunset, the Prophet said, O oh, Abu Dhar, do you know where the sunset? Remember that verse is speaking about what? About the day and the night and the moon and the sun swimming in the air in the orbit, correct? Does it say that? Do you remember? The day and the night and the sun and the moon swimming in the orbit so muhammad trying to explain how the day and how the night and how the moon and how the sun they keep repeating each other how read with me carefully i was with the prophet at the mosque in the time of the sunset so what is what the time the sunset he said to me oh abu Dhar, do you know where the sun set i replied allah and his message apostle knows best for sure muhammad is a he work he used to work with nasa he said, it goes and prostrate underneath Allah's throne. And that is Allah's statement. The sun runs in its fixed course. Chapter 36, verse number 38. Do you see it? Do you see how what they claim to be a miracle, it became hocus and, 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 and fiction? Muhammad, he claimed that the sun itself, it goes every day. And bow down under the throne of Allah but all of us we knew that the sunset have nothing to do with the sun going anywhere Muhammad he did not say the earth is moving Muhammad he said the sun goes do you see it now do the Muslims understand what Allah want to say more than Muhammad who is a Muslim want to dare to say that who is a Muslim he dare to say Muhammad here is wrong or he is a stupid Anyone? <clears throat> uh, 
Men jag Abdul. Mm. Many Abdul. So why they lie? Why they didn't quote for us what the Prophet said to make it explain the miracle more? So they fabricate and they lie and they try to make the Quran look the way they want it to be, but in fact it's not what they say. Now let us continue. <clears throat> the number of seven heaven and seven earth liars. Seven earthy liars? That's a lie. There's nowhere in the Quran that says that there is seven heaven and seven earth liars. It is seven heaven and seven earth. Read with me carefully. Allah Let us read the interpretation for this verse so everybody will, la will laugh at the Muslims. And notice with me, none of those articles is quoting the, the explanation of, of the Quran by a scholar. Did you ask yourself why? Why we cannot find any explanation from their scholars, which is their scholars? Because their scholars will get them busted. Chapter 65, verse number 12. Let's go. <clears throat> All right. You see here how we, how we uh, get them busted? And it's Allah who has created the seven heavens and one above the other like a dome and the earth like therefore seven earths, but they are flat <laughs> Do you see it? Why they are saying to us that there is seven layers of the earth. It's a fabrication. It's a lie in the translation Just to fool you Not even a single Muslim believe that the earth there is seven this seven Liars of the earth when the Quran mentioned that because it says in Arabic clearly women al ard the likeness of them. It is he who created seven heavens and from the earth the same number. That's what the Quran is saying. They lie with no shame. And of the earth, the like therefore. Same time, <clears throat> if you go in the Quran, you see the Quran, uh, uh, in order to understand uh, or to draw an image how Muhammad, he understand his, his cult, how Muhammad, he present to us the creation of his God. We have always to connect the dot. You know, we cannot just, uh, like, I agree with Muslim when they say we should connect, we should read things in context, right? Okay, we can do that. If you go in the Quran, you will find there is a verse speaking about something that's called noon. Noon. Chapter 68, verse number 1. <coughs> Read with me carefully and laugh. From the narration of the authority of Ibn Abbas, what is noon? He said, regarding the interpretation of Allah saying noon, noon, he says, Allah swear by noon. Allah swear by noon. Who is Mr. Noon? Let us see. Which is the whale that carries the earth? And by the way, this is true. I remember my dad, he told me when I was a kid, because we have an earthquake in my country, in the, uh, uh, in, which is in uh, Afghanistan next to Argentina. We have an earthquake. I said, Dad, why we have earthquake? He said, because the whale is moving. And now there's a ball. He is carrying the earth too, read with me. So there is a whale is carrying the earth in its back while it is in water. So now we are swimming in the water. And beneath which is the bowl and end at the bowl there's a rock and under the rock there's a dust and none knows what is under the dust save Allah like stop please stop I mean our knowledge is stop here please 
We Muslim, we do not know further information, brother. We cannot tell you what is under the dust because nobody knows what under the dust save Allah, brother. I mean, this is so good to be true. <laughs> And look here, guys. Look here, uh, Muhammad and his followers, they are very humble in knowledge. Please, please don't ask us more questions. After the dust, we have no knowledge. Only Allah knows. And now they give us more information. Please take notes. The name of the whale is Lewis. Uh, just to let you know, this is not and have nothing to do with Lewis Farrakhan. Disclaimer. So the name, brother, brother, the name of the whale is Lewis. And by the way, why the, why have a name? I mean, who's, who's going to call him by his name there? Hey, Lewis, are you there? This is your mom. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> and it said, its name is Lotaya. Oh man, this guy, this guy, they are confused about the name, but only the name is confusing. And the name of the bowl is Bahamut. Ooh, Bahamut. I wonder where this name is storing from. Uh -huh. You see, Muhammad, he took stories from the Old Testament, but the stories Muhammad he take, he always make it so funny. And he because he's a fabricator, he's a liar. So there is many things Muhammad he tried to make himself like he's a person of knowledge and obvious obviously that those stories are mixed with a lot of fictions of the mind of Muhammad Bahamut and some says its name is Tarahut or Liwana man the whale in a sea called Adwad and by the way Adwad sea is very well known you know if you if you go to Qatar if you go to Qatar brother and you pass the country after Qatar, which is uh, uh, Zimbabwe. Uh, just take the first corner, which is going to be uh, the Philippines, and then you will find yourself right away in the middle of nowhere in Chicago. That is exactly Adawad. Adawad is a sea. It's like a small ball in a huge sea. The sea in the Hollywood Rock, whereby there's 4,000 cracks. <laughs> This is remind me of Muhammad Hijab saying, for 4,000 years, not a single Jew, he claimed the Trinity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, here, here you see the, a lot of knowledge, a lot of science here, and actually I believe that many scientists they are doing their phd based on this information actually i heard that there's a guy he have a phd is called the four thousand cracks in my head <laughs> where is the science where is the science? And look here, the, how much confused. And the, the funny, this is this is interpretation. If this is the interpretation, so what is the confusion? Read with me. So there's 4,000 cracks. Each crack water spring out of the earth. It's also said that known is the name of Allah. Look, what the heck? <laughs> we started saying that the name of noon means a name of a whale. And now we end that noon is Allah himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Our friend, there's no question that the Quran is a book of science. In different verses in the Quran, Muhammad he claimed that there's a mountain, it's called. Off. 
قاف قاف والقرآن العظيم what is قاف any Muslim can tell us what is قاف القرآن المجيد if we go in the here Chapter 85, verse number 1. Qaf wal Quran al Majid. What is Qaf al Quran al Majid? Let us see. You see, we're just trying to understand geography and. Uh, and biology and uh, astronomy based on the Quran from the authority from his authority in the relation of Ibn Abbas that he said the interpretation of Allah saying Qaf Qaf he said it is an azure mountain overlooking this world and the color of the sky takes from it Allah swore by it so what Muhammad is teaching that there is an azure mountain surrounding the earth and it is a blue and this is why the sky is a blue <laughs> so to explain how Islam <coughs> hey, shut up come on to explain how Islam understand the creation of the earth the earth is a flat this is the earth and then there is a blue mountain around the earth Surrounding the earth from every direction. So whatever you look, you see blue. Whatever you look around you, you see blue. Why you see blue? Because simply, and here I'm, I should not draw here anything anyway, because this is the earth is a flat anyway. You know? Yeah. So whatever you look around you, you will see the blue, the blue color, because simply, this is a mountain here, and then the sky in the top is taking its color from the mountain this is why we cannot see this mountain because simply it's blue and it's far away so we cannot reach it but it's there the sky take its color from it and this is why we see the sky blue that's very scientific and very true this is why Muhammad he ordered his men to pray in the direction of Mecca because simply you see my problem with praying in the direction of Mecca not because he said because I can accept that somebody saying to me pray in the direction of Mecca as something metaphorical but this is not the point Muslims they pray at a physical direction and they think this is a real direction so Mecca is here <clears throat> Muhammad he think that Mecca is here the Kaaba is here and the Muslims stand anywhere in the world they can face, you know, uh, Mecca. Doesn't matter where you are, they can face it. <coughs> Hello? Okay. Are you, a, are you a Muslim? If you are a Muslim, call me back, please. Do we have any Muslim would like to call? Yeah, because this topic is very sensitive. This is why the Muslims, they were not there to call. You see, they knew that everything we have is a, is a fabrication. They knew that everything we have of those miracles is a lie. This is why they were not there to call, because we, we, they knew we can get them busted easy. Otherwise, here we go, a topic which Muslims, they try to promote, that the Quran have miracles. Why they don't prove it to us? Why they didn't call? Why you always talk about Islam? This is this is a real Abdul. Let me call him. <coughs> answer, Abdul. Answer. Why you don't answer? He is angry from me. Why? Why you are talking about? If you if you keep doing that, I will block you. If you don't want to talk. If you text me just to insult, I will block you. So I warn you. Any Abdul?
and Abdul wanna tell us about the science of uh, of the Quran or the science of Allah or the miracle of Allah or the miracle of Muhammad I block you when I have nothing to say no I want you to call me but you are just in you know you asking me in text why you are speaking about Islam I speak about Islam why not what's wrong with speaking about Islam it's the best entertainment ever creation of a human from a clay and water I mean this is something silly to say because this is mentioned in the Bible long before you mention it so what do you claim about it the Big Bang theory in the Quran this above mentioned mentioned ayah pointed toward importance water hello I don't hear you, my friend. Speak louder, please. Mute YouTube, please. Answer, Abdul. Answer. Hello. He's angry from me. Why? Why you are talking about? If you, if you keep. Are you there? Want to talk? If you think. Are you there? I will. I think there is a delay in the voice. Is it? Are you there? That's stupid. Any Muslim want to call us? Okay, look. The above ayah point toward importance of water. Every uh, organism life. The biological studies are also, you know, here we have a problem. When Allah, he says that we created from everything from water. That is a stupid. Why? Because the Quran speak that the, the moon and the sun they are alive and even rocks even the black stone is alive and the black stone is going to witness for muslims so where is water isn't it allah who invited who asked the moon, the sun and the moon to convert to islam but they refuse because they were smart he asked them to trust allah but they refuse because they are smart Read, read careful with me. وَإِذْ عَرَضْنَا الْأَمَانَةَ عَلَى السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَالْجِبَالِ فَأَبَيْنَ أَنْ يَحْمِلْنَهَا وَأَشْفَقْنَ مِنْهَا وَحَمَلَهَا الْإِنسَانُ وَإِنَّهُ كَانَ ظَلُومًا ظَلُومًا جَهُولًا Chapter 33, verse number 72. Translation. Allah invited the moon and the sun and the mountains and the uh, supposedly he invited them to convert to Islam but they refuse he invited them to trust Allah but they refuse because they are smart and the one who accept was the man for he was a fool read carefully with me and see what what the verse is saying <clears throat> I mean, what's wrong with this? Uh, I have to scroll all the way down. Hold on. <sighs> I don't know. I hope they will fix this website soon. <clears throat> uh, Quran. All right. Here we go. Lu, we offered the trust into the heavens and the earth and the hills, which is the mountain actually. And they shrunk from bearing it and they were afraid of it. But the man assumed that Lu has proved that he is a fool. Question If everything is alive, is from made from water. How Allah is asking the mountains, the sky, and everything in the sky and the earth. By the way, translation here is funny. But as you see here, it's confirmed that we offer the trust. Let us, let us show more translation. All the translation, if we can. <coughs> Read with me. We offer the trust of the divine responsibility to the heavens and the earth and the mountains. But they refrained from bearing it. Question, how they can refrain 
from bearing it if they are just a planet and they don't have they are not a living creatures you know what I mean you guys you understand what I'm saying let me see how long my my voice is coming to you how long it takes let me open YouTube <clears throat> I want to see if it's really taking long Let me click. Now you see from my side, look like it's fine from my side. It's coming right away. I don't know. So, guys, do you see any Muslim have a comment? How the Quran says we made everything, every living thing from water, and did the Quran claim that the the mountain, the earth, the sky. And everything in the sky, Allah he invited them to trust him. And not only that, he says that they were they were smart, they did not trust Allah. It, the, it was the man who trusted him, and he wasn't ignorant. Do you see it? Indeed, we presented the trust to the heaven and the earth and the mountains, but they refuse it. How they can refuse it? Do they have a brain? What do you mean the mountains they refuse the trust of Allah? Any Muslim can explain. <coughs> Hello? If only what is created from water is a living thing. Allah talking about he offered them the, the moon and the sun and the earth and the mountains, the trust, how you can offer them the trust. Do we have any Muslim would like to call? And here the Quran confirm that the one who accepted the trust of Allah, it was the man and he was a fool. You see? <clears throat> you trust Allah, you are a fool. Read carefully, I'm not the one saying that. <coughs> Hello? Yeah, peace and blessings, man. This is Brother Saeed. I've been hearing your, uh, your comments, man. I would like to address the Muslim All right, my friend. Go representative. Ahead. Go ahead. Um, what, what was that verse that you were reading, sir? We are reading in the Quran, chapter 33, verse number 72. Okay, 33, 73. 72. <laughs> 72, okay. Okay, so... <laughs> Reading from the English to the uh, from the Arabic to the English, truly, we did offer the trust to the heavens and the earth and the mountains, but they declined to bear it and were afraid of it. However, man bore it. Verily, he was unjust to himself and ignorant. Now, what is your question, sir? My question: If everything living thing is from water. Allah is offering the sky and the earth and the mountains a trust and they refuse. How they refuse? Are they, they refuse. Yeah, how, they, how, how, the, how the mountain refuse? <clears throat> well, the Lord says it right here. How? The Lord the mountain can offered it to them. Yeah, but how you are, are you talking to who? To the rocks? Well, the Lord is, is addressing this, the question that you're asking. You know, the Lord is saying, we offered the trust hmm. to the mountains. So the Lord is indeed talking hmm. to the mountains. Okay, and, the, know, and the, the mountain, heavens. they talk back, they say, no, we don't accept? Well, this is because of the responsibility, as the Lord says in the verse. Yeah, but this so means the, the mountains, they have a brain, and they, they knew what is responsible and what is not, right? Indeed. Okay, do you really believe that the mountains are, are living creatures, and they have a brain? And they yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, really? I believe. I, yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, um, when you look at the uh, the reality of um, birds and the way that they mm -hmm. function and the way that they uh, operate in terms of waking up the rooster crocs, mm -hmm. uh, how the, how the, the birds how, how the birds function. Well, the way birds function, uh, according to the birds in, in my in my area, mm -hmm. you know, um, every morning around five your time, they start chirping. You see. 
around and the Friday, uh, around the Friday, they try they start doing what? Around Fajr hour, the Fajr hour is oh, okay. the time that okay. Muslims pray. Mm -hmm. And and so around this particular time, they always <laughs> chirp, right? Mm -hmm. So we're talking about a design that Allah created mm -hmm. these birds to function on. So when the Lord is saying, I offered the heavens and the earth to take the responsibility of this trust, you know, we, we realize that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave it these functions to decide. And it reclined or it, it, it uh, declined the offering, you see. Um, in, which language, of, in which language Allah he offered them the offering? In what language? Yeah. Well, according to the Quran, uh, before my calling you, you read it in the Arabic, so you know, just translating it into the English. So, it so look, so look like those mountains they speak Arabic. The language that Allah was speaking to the mountains. He was speaking when Allah Arabic? created uh -huh. creation. No, like when uh, he when he offered them those things, he he spoke to them in which language? In which well, language? Gotta, in which language well, they respond? Well, you got to <clears> understand, <throat> um, <throat> uh, brother, that. This revelation called the Quran was sent down to mm. Muhammad mm. in the Arabic language. So we're understanding a story. Mm. So according to the story that we're getting this revelation, we're getting it in the language that Muhammad spoke. Mm. So you see, in terms of the language that Allah spoke to the yeah. mountains and the heavens and all of these things, mm. according to what we got from this Quran, we just know that Allah is the creator of speech. Allah is the creator of language. Yeah, but how? So, but, but how? How the how the mountain they speak? I mean, you see, the, do the mountain have a tongue? Well, obviously not now at this particular time. So what I mean, happened? They lo they lost their tongue by time. What happened? Well, just by looking at what they did, they declined the offer. So by declining the offer, the Lord took away some of the things that will ah, be required to take. So the when He created them, they used to have a tongue, and then by time, uh, Allah He cut their tongue because they declined the offer. So when Allah he off offered them that, what does that mean? He offered them Islam and they refused to accept Islam? Negative. Uh, what Allah offered was the trust. The trust mm. that uh, the whole purpose um, mm. of man on earth is to be a caliph, a ruler, mm. you see, to have dominion over everything in creation. So the Lord offered this responsibility, but in knowing the duties of being a ruler, they declined this offer, you see. Mm. And this is why the man today is at uh, a folly. He's at a, you know, um, uh, uh, as the Lord says, he is unjust to himself because he's mm. forgotten how heavy this duty is, you see. Mm. And so now today, uh, the man is in a frenzy trying to understand uh, the geopolitics of governing people, <laughs> you see. Mm. So you see, the, uh, even the angels, mm -hmm. when the Lord had created creation, mm -hmm. uh, told the angels, I will create a caliph or representative hmm. and the angels had questioned God think hmm. about the angels questioning the most high will you create something that will cause corruption the hmm. Lord said I know what you know not because hmm. the responsibility of being a ruler hmm. is not easy hmm. as you see the man is unjust so when the Lord offered that to the heavens hmm. and they did they, they uh, declined it was this hmm. knowledge this information about what it means to be a ruler that they were not ready to take I okay. hope that it can answer your question, question. my friend. You just mentioned the story of Adam and the angels. Allah, he said, I will create a caliph. What caliph mean? Well, caliph, according to my understanding, <clears throat> means a representative, a vice general, a successor. or Successor uh, of who? There's people living the earth before? Well, uh, the Lord, before the Lord even created Adam, there was, a, according to the hadith hmm. that, I, that I can remember, hmm. before the Lord even created Muhammad hmm. or the mm. first man mm. life was already in and in, 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 it was already functioning it was already life here all right so so in uh, terms of who the ruler who, was who was who was down on earth was a man or was an angel well Allah was the one keeping it maintaining it governing it okay uh, let, let, let's focus on that story the angels they said to Allah that uh, uh, Adam would do mischievement right Indeed. right okay yes and uh, Allah, he told them, I know what you know not, correct? Correct. Okay, which means he is confirming that they are wrong about right. the claim of Adam. But isn't it Adam who commits sin later and Allah kicked him out anyway and they were right? Well, the, 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 well, I'm, in terms of in terms of the storyline, yeah, you're absolutely correct. The storyline is correct. I'm not okay. going to deny that. Okay, so how, how Allah saying to them you are wrong when they are right? Well, in terms of 
the uh, the uh, the uh, like so when you're looking at a story mm. and you know the the beginning, the middle, and the end of a story, mm. but the person who you're telling this, uh, uh, you're, you're you're a director of a movie and you're telling uh, 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 someone that you trust, hey, I got this idea about a movie, and they and they and they're trying to understand the end of the movie, how the movie is going to end, but they're not the director, they're not the actual creators of the movie, mm. so they're giving me their own opinion about how the movie would turn out, but they're not even the one directing it. So the angels were trying to think ahead mm. of Allah, mm. but Allah knew the end game. So you see, yes, mm. indeed, the story started off with Adam sinning. Mm. However, the end game is not what they thought. And that's why the Lord knows what they know no, not. But Allah, but Allah told them, you know, not about what? About him being a sinner. Well, about about the about the reality where Adam the Adam and the children of Adam, the end game, you see, yeah. it's about this but, is a story. Okay, but but uh, Allah, sir? He said to them, He wanted to prove to them they are wrong, right? About what yeah. the, the angel they would make, make one accusation that this person he would do mischief, and correct, indeed. Okay, was the was the angels right? Yes, Allah was wrong. How Allah said well, to them, I know what you know not, and He will prove to them that they do not know nothing, and then to prove that story, He start teaching Adam all the names. And then he told the angels, "Well, okay, if you know, uh, if you know better than me, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> recite the names of those things I taught to Adam." And he placed the things in the front of Adam, and he told them, "Okay, tell me the names of those things." They said, "Allah, we, we know not what you, not, and we know only what you told us." So here, so you Allah, see, they testified. They testified to exactly what okay, they Okay, but the know, story right? here is not smart, my friend, because if I, if let us let us say to you, I have a cat. Her name, I I call her Susu. And I say to you, my friend, do you know the name of my cat? You say no. Is that a proof that I am God because I I don't know the name of my cat? I am the one who gave the name for my cat. Allah, He named the things to Adam. He taught him the names, and then He brought all the things in the front of the angels, and He said to the angels, "Give me the names of those things." The angels they said, "We give up. We do not know." How Allah he is proving to the angels that he knew what they knew not if he is the one who gave the names I mean, this is the most silly argument ever Imagine well, imagine imagine you call well, you call your son. Uh, let us say Ahmad or Muhammad And I see you in the street. We shake hands. You say do you know my son name? I say no He said okay. I'll prove to you that I'm God. My son name is Ahmad, but you are the one who gave him the name You know what I'm saying well I hear, I hear, I hear your your point, sir. But um, the reality is, when you're the one, when you're the beholder of information, and you only teach a certain amount of information to a creation, then you know, it's just, it's just for example, teenagers. You know, teenagers they think they know everything. They have this, you know, uh, this 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 obvious arrogance about themselves where they think that they don't have to, you know, listen to the guidance of their elders anymore because of this information that they think they have. And then when something happens to them, then they realize, oh, wow, I actually don't know so much. So the reality is the angels, they, they thought they knew everything because of what Allah had funk put in them in terms of information. But friend, but then when the Adam, angels, hold on, let me, let, me, let me just get this. Hmm. I mean, so, so then when Adam was created and when Adam was taught the names of everything, hmm. the Lord then presented the angels in front of Adam and then questioned the angels. About so what? now it's about it's a battle of information. What? Question, a, question well, about what? The name, the, well, the, well, the names, the names you okay. see, in so terms of what, the information. What kind, what kind of a smart exam that is exam to prove that I am the one who know and you do not know? What about Allah? He do the opposite. What if Allah, he says to them, okay, I will give you those things. Give them names as you wish. And then ask me what the names of those things. And then I will tell you that it will be a miracle. But I am the one who named the things. And then I say to you, I know the name of those things. This is the most silly argument ever. Are you getting my point? If he want to prove to them that he knew what they knew not, he knew the unseen. He should do the opposite. He should give them. He said, "Okay, you know what? Name anything you want around you. Do anything you want. Do something. Some tricks. Hide and seek. Do things I did not supposed to see behind my back. And then ask me what we did, and I will tell you. That will prove that he is God. But look what happened. He brought a zucchini, a cucumber, uh, 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 a chair, a table, uh, a cook, uh, 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 a, a couch." And he starts naming them. Okay, Adam, this is a couch. This is a zucchini. This is a cucumber. Uh, this is a grape. Uh, this is a Coca-Cola. This is Pepsi Cola. This is Seven Up. Okay, angels, come here. Give me the names of those things. And the angels like, what is that, man? We do not know. This is how Allah He proved that He is all knowledgeable. 
Absolutely. I mean, what you got to gotta understand. They questioned the fact that they even questioned Allah was was the was that was the wrong doing. To question Allah's, uh, in, in, you know, infinite intelligence was the wrong. The, and, and, and let's just go to the reality of the angels. The angels were not created with free will, so that the amount of things that they can do, like you had gave a scenario, just go ahead and do what you want to do. Name anything. Do, like just that, just imagining that, just putting that in perspective, it's impossible for an angel because they're not created with free will. So they're they're, they're limited to what they can actually do. My friend, 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 hold on. You are saying, wanted, you are what saying, you, what you, you want to do, what you want to do is on. you want to take the, uh, the, 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 the narrative, mm. you want to take the narrative and, 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 you know, ridicule the narrative. But the reality is you are not a law. I am not a law. And I did not create the story. The story okay, has friend, been created. Okay. And we just are you saying must... to me, are you saying to me that because you don't have a free will, because you don't have a free will, you cannot give a name to something? Is that the duty of an angel? No, no, no. This is not about angels, about anything. Free will. You said because angels have no free will, right? Yeah. Okay. No. So, can Allah give them a free will for one second and say, "Okay, go and name those things"? Can't He? But, but did He do that? Okay. What, what? Here, the story proved nothing to us. The I don't want to. I don't want to say a word. It sounds like I'm insulting you. We are discussing a topic. I hope you will not be offended. But this is very silly to say. I am going to give names to things, and you have no free will. To know those two things because you just told me they have no free will. So how he's asking them what is the names if they if he knew already that they have no free will to know, and they have no free will to name them, they have no free will to know them, they have no free will to think, they have no free, free will to do anything because you just said they are like just, just like toys. He's controlling them and they have no free will. So what is this debate is about? It, the the point of me and you debating that you are free to answer the way you want. I am free to to answer you the way I want. If Allah is debating with angels who have no free will, this is a joke, because the answer well, is the answer is not right. the answer this is not made by them. The answer is made by Allah. Well, you see, that goes right back to the question initially. Why this is the reason why the the heavens. This is the reason why in, in chapter thirty three, verse number seventy two. This is exactly the reason why the heavens and the earth did not take that trust, because the responsibility of of having the ability to say yay or nay. Okay, I will, is, I will, I will, I will go with you. Backlash. Do a human being have a free will? Do human being have a free will? Human beings, yes, they have a free will. That's false, my friend. Do you want to prove it to you? Well, according to the Quran, we have free will. Where it says, according to the Quran, you have a free will. Okay. Okay, so we go to if we go to chapter seven, mm. verse number twenty-three. The Lord says, "They said, O Lord, we've wronged our souls. If you forgive us not and bestow not upon us your mercy, mm. we shall certainly be of the losers." Mm. So this is this is we're just going to stay on topic with Adam and Eve, right? Mm. The fact that they're calling out to God, asking for a second chance mm. to make up something that they did. All right necessitates the will that is free okay do you understand this verse better than your prophet you asked me to show you in the quran free yes, will. my friend i'm asking you now. so i'm just, do you so understand? I'm just showing because you are giving your interpretation which is wrong do you understand this verse more than your prophet like i said you told no, no, me to I, give I, you an my example friend, my friend my friend no you did not give me an example I, I'm, I'm just saying to you are so you when sure? someone, so are you, some, so are you sure? Someone is asking, are you sure? Okay, hold on, hold on. Are you sure that this verse is calling out to God for forgiveness, my friend, my friend? Because they okay. did something. This is what right? they say. This is what they say. But is it true? No, this is what the Quran just said. I just no, read the, the Quran. Verse. No, the Quran says they, we, they said they said. Didn't you know how to read, my friend? The Quran says, "Qala Rabbuna zalamna anfusana." They said, "Our Lord, we wrong ourselves." They said. Okay, they said, okay, you know who, now, so do, who are they? okay, do you understand this verse better than your prophet? Yes or no? So who, do you who are they? The, uh, Adam and Eve, do you understand? Okay. That, do you so, understand? So they did something, right? My friend, they, they did you, something. Do you they did, they did no something, No problem, right? no problem. Do you understand? Come on, man. Come on, don't, don't, my don't, friend, don't, my friend. Don't, don't, okay, it, it, it okay, what's wrong with you? Now, what's wrong don't, with don't you? Do you understand the Quran better than your prophet? Yes or no? 
Hey, look, man, that's a whole different topic now. You see, you know, a whole whole look like, ah, see, look like reality, you do not. And you, are, you, are, you, are you saying, Adam are you saying you don't something. agree with your prophet? Right are, you saying, are you saying, are you saying, are you saying you don't agree with your prophet? Are you saying that your prophet is a foolish man? He do not know and he don't understand the Quran, but you know better. Are you saying that? What I'm saying is your question was answered. My about friend, no, will. you are not. Adam you are not. This is not Adam about the free will. This is not and, about the free will. And they were, this and is not will about the free will. This is what and they, they say. Allah is the one is so fooling them. Back. Allah, he deceived them. Allah, he deceived them. Allah, he made them commit sin. And I can prove it right now. You have no idea what are you talking about. Allah made them commit sin. This is huh? why you are, you are not accepting the challenge. I am saying to you, what if I show you your prophet explaining this verse and proving you wrong? What you will do? Show me then. Okay, no problem. Here we go. Thank you. Finally, he said, show me. I like it. This is Sahih al-Bukhari in the front of me, and this is Sahih. All the hadith in the front of me is Sahih. Read with me carefully. The Prophet said, Adam and Moses argued with each other. Moses said to Adam, O oh Adam, you are our father who disappointed us and turned us out of paradise. Then Adam said to him, O oh Moses, Allah forced you, favored you with his talk, talk to you directly between two brackets. And he wrote between two brackets the Torah for you with his own, own hand. Do you blame me for an action which Allah has written for my, in my fate 40 years before my creation? So Adam, Muhammad continues saying, so Adam confuted Moses, Adam confuted Moses three times. Go ahead. Your prophet, he ad admit that Adam was a victim of a plan of Allah to commit sin. You cannot blame Adam for the sin he Adam he did, for this is was the plan of Allah, and Adam have no free will. Okay, so um, you're you're acknowledging the fact that he still was redeemed. This is, see, not, he, this, he, this, this he, is not he, our topic. He, don't don't change the topic. Don't, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. You said. You said. Okay. But this is not about redeem. This is about. Don't change the topic. This is about free will. You say that a human being have a free will. He don't. He does. No. I, he was the story we are talking about is about Adam and Eve, correct? And here we go. Your prophet himself is saying that Adam was the winner in this debate. Why he was the winner? Because you cannot blame Adam for the sin he did, for this is written for him 40 years. It was the qadr of Allah for him. It is not his choice. So how you say to me that the angels have no free will, but the human being have a free will, when as you see, Adam sin, it was nothing but a deception of Allah. Allah is the one who fooled them. Allah, he made them do the sin. You're a prophet, he said, if my nation, if you people don't commit sin and ask Allah for forgiveness, Allah will destroy you and bring people better than you who sin and ask for forgiveness. So your God, Allah, have a game. He like people to sin so he can make them ask, please, Allah, forgive us. This is the, this is the game. As you see here, Allah, is, Allah is, is using you, is playing with you. He made you do sin. He forced you to do sin. And then he asked you to ask for forgiveness so he feel like he is God. He have a self-esteem issue. Well... <laughs> I see, I see, I see how you, I see how you, uh, you know, facilitating your. your what facilitating? This, this is in front of you. It's in the front of you. Why Allah He made Adam sin? You tell me. It's in the front of you. Why He made him sin? Give me a reason. Adam was a good person. Allah did tribe him. Allah forced tell, him to commit I tell, sin. I tell you why. I tell you why. Why? I tell you why. why? Tell me why. Because everything is now revolving around the same verse that you had brought in the beginning about. The Lord entrusting a responsibility to the heavens and the earth. Mm. The Lord <clears throat> wanted to create a caliph. So the Lord wants a caliph. This is what the Lord wants, and the Lord will get what the Lord wants. The Lord wants a caliph. So the Lord is trying to find the right victim. You mm. see, the right so victim, the guys. Did, did you hear? Us. Did you hear the right so victim? The Lord, the Lord. <laughs> Allah trying to find the hey. right victim. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> well, well it's still but you know what it still does it still establishes the my friend i like you. I, I would like you day. to call me always what's your name by the way what's your name it's still hold on i'm gonna tell you all that i'm gonna tell you what, all what's that your name if you don't mind if you don't mind I, I say my what, what's your name what's your name please what's your name my name is saeed saeed okay saeed listen you just say that allah he have to choose the right victim right indeed you admitted that your god is the devil because why why he cannot fulfill his plan to create a caliphate for the earth without finding a victim 
Can't he make Adam a caliphate for the earth without fooling him and making him do sin? What is the point? Well, well, well there's a there's a hadith kutsi where the Prophet Sallallahu said that when the Lord decided the Lord wanted to be known, so in order to be known, the Lord created creation, and through creation, the Lord made himself Guys, known. Look at this. Allah so, created us to be known. <laughs> exactly. My funny so now, my, my friend, my friend. So let, on, let, me, on, let me ask. Let me ask. Let me ask. I understand. I understand okay. that you have your own position against Islam, but you know, in terms of the respectability of one man's faith and another man's faith, we must give each other the ability to express one and defend one's faith. Mm. Don't you agree to that? I agree, and you just did. You, okay. just, you are the one who said so, that. So uh, now, so you, now, you are so the now one who said about, Allah. Allah, so, he he chose so a victim, on. and the victim is us. Hold on. So let me tell you how this whole thing is going. Mm. So the Lord. Wanted to be known and created a creation. Mm. There are 99 attributes that <coughs> represent Allah. Mm. So, in order for us to know the names of God, mm -hmm. you have the to Lord deceive must us. Create creation. So, you have to deceive so us. In how order can to you know, know that? that the Lord? How can you know that the Lord is good? Mm. And how can you know that the Lord is wrathful? Mm. You must create. A, what is good? What is good about create, God? What is good about on, God? But hold on, on, hold on. See, what now, is what good? Doing, now, what you doing is when you when you want to explain yourself. Then I then I then I give you the floor. But when no, I my friend, my friend. Myself, no, I want to hold you with your words before you forget because about them. You, you just say it. You, you just do, said you Allah. He control, wanted to be known. Hold on. on. You just yeah, said that you Allah. He wanted to be known. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You are afraid from what you just said. You are afraid from what you just said. You just said that Allah wanted to be known. Hold on. Hold on. You see, guys. This guy he is afraid. He's terrified. Let me speak. He has a fright. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. You say that Allah he wanted to be known and he chose a victim and now because he is good God He chose a victim to make him commit sin. How no, that's how, what you say you are the one who said, are, Aren't you the that's one who said the word? Say. Aren't you, you the one who's okay? Like the, okay hold on hold on Aren't you the one aren't you the one who says Aren't you the, are you the one who said the word victim or me? I am the one who said victim Adam is a victim or it is you who said Adam was a victim of Allah But I'm going to use my words and i'm going to put it in its proper context you can't take my words out of context you said you want to but you said narrative. adam is a victim adam is a victim of who adam, so now, so adam now, is a victim so now, of who so now i gotta represent my so, my faith guys listen to this, listen to this i'm listen not going to allow you to, to this, speak this gentleman this gentleman he just said he, he, he just so said that allah he chose an adam as a man to be a victim in order for him to be known what kind of a god he made me a victim of his crime and all the excuse is he want to be known Okay, I'm going to go right now and find the women in the street and I will rape her and they will rape second woman and I will rape the third woman and rape seven women and then after that I will be to CNN. Everybody talk about the rapist. I mean, what kind of God is God just because he want to be known thinking of himself only not thinking about the poor man who caused him to sin who play with him. He forced him into sin. He caused a destiny for him. He have nothing to do with it. And now everybody is saying Adam is the one who did the sin. Adam is the one who disobeyed God. Adam is the one, etc. But the fact it was not Adam, it was Allah playing Adam. Adam is a victim, as our guest here he said. Go ahead, we're listening. Again, the Lord said in the the Lord, uh, the Prophet said, said in the Hadith Qudsi that when the Lord decided to create creation, the Lord decided to be known, so created a creation and made and made himself known through creation. Mm. So now the Lord is known by 99 attributes. The Lord is mercy the lord is compassionate the lord is powerful deceiver the lord, uh wrathful the deceiver. Lord is many, many De names De deceiver right what see now see now see now, see now what you doing is impute imputing things for okay the, for let me the, let me show the, you let audience. me show you that islam have no job let me ask you let me ask you so now you're being a comedian Com the I'm comedian the comedian is uh, the comedian my friend the comedian is your god the comedian is your god who created a man he, you, cre he created a man. Like a hold on, hold right on. The, on. The comedian. Like, hold like on. We cannot don't even have the ability. We cannot to talk in the same the man speak. Let us see so who have show, ability now, or not. Now what you're doing is you showing me <laughs> your own inability to be civil. You're not even. See, here we go. Right it's now. like a pregnant woman in the living room. Listen, guys. You Allah, see, Allah, he see, wanted to be known. You can't be Allah, civil. Allah, sir. Allah, you, you are not a civil, civil. You are a Muslim. You are, a, you are not a civil. You are a Muslim. You call me monkey. You call me donkey. You, you call me. You call me a worship creature. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You are not disciplined too because you don't worship God. If you are disciplined, you will not worship this fake God. How God he created Adam just to are abuse him. So how God? How God? How you? How dare you? How dare you to say to me that God created a man just to play with him? 
to abuse him, to use him, just to be known. What kind of what kind of God? Brother? What kind of God he do that to his victim? Adam is a good person according to Islam. You see, ev ev everybody is listening. Know how to have Ev to everybody, discussion. everybody will leave Islam because man. of you. Now, my friend, let me ask you a question. Simple so question. Islam is let, winning. Let right me now sure, I'm sure Islam is winning. Absolutely, Islam is winning, <laughs> guys. Islam is winning. Islam is winning because he admit he, he admit he admit that Allah Allah he used Adam and abused him, and Adam is a victim. Islam is winning. Listen, let me ask you a simple question before you run. If a I'm child, if, 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 if a child, if a child, okay, if a child, you you okay, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You you're a prophet, you're a prophet. You hold on, you, you, you got. talk, you talk too much, you talk too much. <laughs> yeah, that's, see, this is why Adam you talk too much, you talk too much. See, the reason why Adam fell because much. the Lord had to show man the reality of good and evil. You see, let us see the good and evil. Yeah, the the man, the man who have sex with a six, the man who have sex with six years old girl is the one who will teach us good and evil. Sin, listen, so listen, 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 sin, Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. So he can understand Abdul. that God is both good. Are you going to speak? Are you going to talk forever? Are, are you going to talk forever? Are you going to talk forever? Are you going to talk forever? Are are you going to talk forever? Course, the balance so that we will not be too <laughs> evil and not too good. <laughs> Sorry, I have to mute him. <laughs> it's like a radio station. <laughs> he said. And by the way, he's talking. He's still talking. He said he is the one. He said, "Guys, is my voice coming? Is my voice coming to you?" He said he is the one who said Adam. Allah is a choosing a victim. Allah is a choosing a victim. What kind of God this God is? A choosing a victim for what? To be known. Allah wanted to be known. I mean, come on. Allah wanted to be famous. What's wrong with you? Allah want to be just in people. He want to be like Sylvester Stallone. He wanted to be famous. Everybody has his name is a magazine except Allah. So Allah, he came with the plan. I will get a guy. His name is Adam and I will make Adam sin. And then I will say to Adam, ask me for forgiveness because you are a person who disobey me. Allah, please forgive me, please. And the poor Adam, he is asking for forgiveness because he have no free will. And now this guy is saying to us that his God is a God. What kind of God this God is? What kind of what kind of God this God is? Now let me. He, he's still he's still talking. By the way, listen, Abdul, are you there? I'm I'm I'm, I'm not talking. Okay, I I have I have a question for you. Very simple one. You're a prophet. He said every child is born as a Muslim. Is that correct? That's correct. Which mean which means there's no free will for you to be a Muslim or not. Do you agree? I don't agree. Okay, but he said he's born. You are born as a Muslim, which means you are, you don't you did not choose to be a Muslim then. I want to ask you if well, you I if I if a child means, okay no problem man, you, you can explain to me no problem means. let me finish my question if a child he is born as a Muslim and he die let us say a child is born of a Muslim father and Muslim mother and he die as an infant he's like one month old do he go to hell or he go to heaven well according to the hadith he will go to heaven are you sure 100 percent sure can you show me the hadith saying that Okay, let's see. I will give you 10 years to find me the hadith. <clears throat> All right. What age is this child that died? What? You said if the if a baby is born and it dies, right? Yes. What how old is the child? Let's say he's an infant. Okay. Hmm. Uh let me see it. <clears throat> a 
Okay, uh, narrated Abu Huraira. This is in Sahih Al Bukhari, book number twenty-three, Hadith three hundred and forty-two. Mm. Uh, the Prophet Sallallahu said, "No Muslim whose three children died will go to the fire." No Muslim who's what? Say again. No Muslim huh? whose three children dies. Okay. Will go to the fire. But this is about the Muslim who is a children die, not 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 the child. Give me a hadith about the child, my friend. You are quoting the wrong idea, wrong no story. No Muslim whose three children die. My friend, a person he have a three children, they die. He will not go to hell. Not the children. Think. Use your brain. No Muslim whose three children die. Yes, he have a three you know children. He have a three children, and they die. You so. cannot comprehend yourself. He have. This is, this is, it's a Muslim. Three, it's a Muslim. Uh, this is three uh, times I'm saying this. I know you got a uh, uh, English. I know you. My, uh, my friend, my friend, my friend. No Muslim whose three children die. What the children who die? Who is the children? Three children, right? How many children? So my. So I'm a. Muslim how, many with children, three how many children? How many children? Yes. Muslim with three children. Right. And they die. No, okay. you, and they die. Yes. Who is the one who will go to heaven? The children will not be in the fire. No, that's not children. It's the Muslim who have the father. Give me the hadith. I will show it in the screen. Oh man. Give me, give me, the, give me the hadith. Give it to me in the text. I will show it in the screen. Everybody will laugh. You claim sure, I do not know English. Sure, okay, sure. Let's, okay. Let's get let's get it out. <clears throat> book book twenty three. This is Sahih Al Bukhari. Book twenty three. Hadith number three hundred and forty two. Bukhari. Give me the hadith. Give me the hadith. Give me the the link. The one you are reading from. Oh, okay, sure. How do I do that? <clears throat> in the text. Click in the text. So I will show it in the screen so people they can see what you are reading. Oh, okay. So I gotta go back to YouTube. <coughs> no, not uh, YouTube, not YouTube. In in, uh, <coughs> in uh in Skype. Oh Skype, okay. All right. All right, so, okay. Uh, okay, I'm new to this man. I had to download this app, brother. How do I do this, man? My friend, you are there, you are in Skype already. Aren't you calling me yeah, in Skype? No. What do I do though? I mean, I'm like snapshot. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I see it. All right. Here you go. Here you go. Got it? All right, let me see. Narrated Anas Ibn Malik. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so uh, so now can you can you uh, read that so everybody can hear you? All right, I'm trying to find it first. Hold on. <clears throat> Just the third one. It's the third one. No, no. I have it in screen, my friend. Oh, all right. Okay, let's see. We're in the screen. All right. The which one? The height number what? Six three seven zero or which one? Uh um uh. It's, uh <laughs> 342 42 all right here we go you guys read with me hmm. huh read with me everybody will see it now what you said and everybody okay, so it's on the big screen I, yeah i have it in the front of me in the screen everybody can see it at the see okay you're gonna read it sure let me zoom in i'm zooming in just people they can see all right okay the prophet said no Muslims whose three children died will go to the fire. Who is the one who will go to the fire? Not the one who his children die. Not the children they will go to heaven. It's in the front of you. You claim that you speak English better than me. Everybody, Man, you guys, just said, you just said you just said some flip mode, brother. You just tried to flip flip it up. In I did not flip it up. It says no Muslim whose three, three children died will go to hell. Who is the one? Who is the one who will not go to hell? Is the one who has a children? Three of them die. Okay, look, look. Anybody, but this is not about the children. This is not one. If you think this is this is not okay. Let 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 me let me let me. If you think the if you think the prophet is talking about the man, press one, guys. Press one. Talking about the children. Press one. Press one. Press one. Here we go. And this is the link. Here we go. In the front of everybody. Come on, y'all. It's right here. No. I'm posting. I'm posting the link for all of them. Everybody is laughing. You are not being honest. You speak English better than me. But yet you are lying in the name of the English. ones. Look at them ones. They go to ones. Come on, man. Come on. You can't play me. You see it? You can't play me, old time. You, you Come see on, it, what you doing, old time? Yeah. 
you know, I got love for my elders, man. I got love for my elders, but you just can't play Islam like that, man. My you friend, they are, they are agreeing with me. They are agreeing with me. Do you see how many people agree with me? Not at you. They are agreeing with me. No, they agree with me, brother. They <laughs> Come on, man. Please. Abdul, see, Abdul. The, the jokes Everybody, you, it's recorded. Everybody will laugh at you. And now let me get you busted more. This is your prophet, said in Sahih al-Bukhari. Read with me. No, 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 no. no. Read, read with me. Read with me. Everybody will be laughing at you in a second about your lies, especially now you are you are a certified liar you so gave me a hadith you gave me a you gave me a hadith you gave me a hadith have nothing to do with my this. question read with me this is your prophet in sahih al-bukhari this is your prophet in sahih al-bukhari sahih muslim saying the following read with me he said this is sahih muslim as an example and the sahih correct hadith aisha 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 shut up let me read let me read everybody will laugh aisha aisha and muhammad they went to a funeral do you see the hadith in front of you which one? Which one, man? It's in the front of us. Do you see it? Uh, okay. Let me go to the. Let me go back to the screen. Um, mm. Aisha, the mother of the believers. <clears throat> okay. Said, after they went to a funeral. Read with me the top, the title. The meaning of every child is born in a state of fitra, and the ruling of the dead children of believers, and of the Muslims. We go down. Aisha, the mother of the believers, said that Allah Messenger was called to lead the funeral of a prayer of a child of Al Ansar. So he's a Muslim from a Muslim family. She said, Allah Messenger, there is happiness for this child who is a bird from the birds of paradise, for it's commit no sin and nor has reached the age when one commit a sin. So he's very little baby. Mm -hmm. He said, he who, Muhammad, Aisha, her adventure, it may be the otherwise, because God created for paradise, who, those who are fit while they are in their father loins, and he created for hell, those who are to go to hell, he created them for hell, while they were yet in their father loins. So, my friend, your prophet got you busted and you are certified liar. You said to me that Muslim children, they will go to heaven. You quote for me a hadith saying that if a person, his children, three of them, they die, you claim that the three children will go to heaven. That's a lie. Your prophet saying no. Nobody knows who is going to go to hell, who is going to be a fire of heaven because Allah created them when they are in the lions of their father to the hell or to heaven. Apologize for being a liar. Mm. All right, I just gotta examine this for a minute. Ah. Yeah, this is uh it's uh the fact that the the prophet said it may be you know this is uh this is not actual this is like a theory or, or a, su a supposition <laughs> it's a theory it's guys actual. it's a theory it's a theory it's a theory is a prophet well, is making a theory well, his a prophet is not sure he said are you saying be. are you it saying may be. it may be yeah it may be here maybe it there it's maybe here maybe it there could be, it, could, it can be it cannot yes be. but you are the one who said to me you are the one who said to me a muslim child will go to heaven well, you are the one. The, I just gave you, you the No, no, you, you are the. No, you lie to me. You lie to me. You lie to me. You lie to me. In the same time, you claim that the human being have a free will. What is the free will? The child he did not commit sin yet. Why it might be he go to hell? It might be go to heaven if he, he have a free will. Where is the free will? The child he did nothing. He did not reach the age of sin. He never commits sin. Whole, so so, so why so. Deceptive. See, this it's hadith is clear. It's not clear because you see, this is the reason why you know, and my in my Arabic because I'm not going to call myself a professional. I'm very intermediate, but I, I definitely know that the fact that he's take care, take care, take care. Next time, let your dad call me. Next time, Sayyid Al Mahdi. His name is Sayyid Al Mahdi. Let your dad call me, please. I don't talk to kids. I gave you a chance, and I roasted you. You are a certified liar from now on. And this video is going to be in YouTube forever. Deal with it. Hello. Hello. 
Yes, my friend. How are you, Mr. Abdul? Before I speak, can you not address me as Abdul? Address you as what? Isn't it your name is Muhammad? No. So what's your name? The, the Skype says your name is Muhammad. It says Badr Muhammad. Okay, Badr. How are you, Badr? What do you want to say to us, Mr. Badr? Uh, you said earlier that you get Muslim busted by... Yeah, we just get one. Did you hear it? The guy before you? He's just a fresh. He's, not, he's, he's still red. Did you see what happened to the one before you? So do we get the most busted or not? Yes, I know. Okay, so now what do you want I... to say to us, my friend? Go ahead. I'm listening. I won't ask you about hadith, do you, if you know it. Okay. Rufi al -talam and thalath. Hmm. Do you know this? Okay, go ahead. What about it? <coughs> go ahead. What this about This says that three people cannot be judged. Hmm. The kid, the insane man, hmm. and the sleep. My the friend, one who is asleep. Yeah, my friend, this is about the capital punishment, which means if somebody commit a crime, let us say uh, a person who is crazy, he used a knife without knowing what the knife would do. He hit you with it. This person, he will not be judged. So if he is a child, you do not know what he is doing. This is about capital punishment in life, in the Sharia law. This is not about the judgment day. No, no, no. Rufi al qalam means that God won't punish him. My friend, him for it. my friend, don't tell me what it says. This is what it says. Rufi al qalam you can go and check your scholars and they will say to you. You go to Ibn Juraj and Al-Qasim bin Yazid, he said that this is al qalam It's mean that the punishment of three kind of people. This is why it says if you are asleep. What does that mean? God will not punish you if you are asleep. Are you are you crazy? This is talking about if something no, no, no. happened, if something happened to you during, if, if you do something, if it's like uh, there is there is something like uh, uh, let us say uh, uh, th there is responsibility for a Muslim as a Muslim so if you are one of those the responsibility does not go for you yes I understand okay that. so the responsibility here is not about the judgment day because as you see the judgment day even if you are a baby who never commit a sin still you might go to hell look here the story in front of okay, us okay yeah okay, so I know the story yeah. oh, okay I so I, what you're a prophet, my that. my friend, this is why if you go in the same hadith, you will see one of them says, وَقَدْ زَادَ عَلَيْهِ الْخَرَفِ الْخَرَفِ which means when you uh, when you became so old and you became uh, not unaware of what you say. So if you are in that stage too, there's no qalam on you, which means, what is the qalam? Qalam is the law. The qalam means the pen. The pen of what? The pen of the law, the sharia. Can I ask you one thing before I sure. uh, <clears throat> uh We uh, uh, apply punishment when uh, God will apply it in the afterlife, right? No, there's there is two kind of punishment. There's punishment of Islam on earth, and there's punishment of God in the in the judgment day. Punishment so, of but uh, punishment of uh, of lifetime. This is what supposed the Sharia Allah. This is why even your prophet he says, "Qatiluhum yu'adhibuhum Allahu bi'adikum." Fight them, kill them, so Allah punish them by know, your hands. Okay, don't don't come, don't come. You ask me. Let me answer you. So kill them, torture them. Allah punished them by your hands. So don't tell me there's a punishment in the judgment. They know Islam believe that when a Muslim he attack me and kill me and torture me, he is doing the punishment of Allah. This is why you Muslims, when you shoot somebody, if you join ISIS, I hope soon, you say, ma ramaytu wa innam Allahu rama wa ma ramaytu. I did not shoot him. I did not kill him. It was Allah who killed him. So if the punishment is only in the judgment day, then how you know how the Quran all the Quran is speaking about that so my friend uh, uh, you try to, I, to, uh, def to defend but you you have you have no, a, no, no. what no and that is not my original point what you uh, what is your original point what <laughs> you know Al Imam al Nawi yeah he's my cousin mm. hmm. Funny. and what uh, about him he, inter he interpreted that hadith hmm. uh, and said that uh, the prophet says not hmm. say that he will go to uh, to uh, heaven he might be go the other way as uh, not to prejudge 
what uh, what is going my to friend, happen my friend my friend my friend no problem it can be it can be that if you are a crazy person should not be judged but this is the logic but as you see a child who never commits sin he's not a crazy he is a muslim he never did anything wrong he did not even reach the age of sin still your prophet saying that people created for hellfire when they are in the father and their father lions so you commit sin you don't commit sin this is not a reason to go to hell in Islam which Islam is a stupid religion and then here if you go with me read read, read me the, the chapter I'm reading for you from uh, uh, it's not you who slew them it was Allah it is not you who killed them it was Allah why because Allah he punished them by your hand so Islam Islam as a religion believe that there is punishment for those who deserve punishment and who is the one who deserve punishment Someone here is he refused to accept Muhammad as a prophet Someone he did not pay to Muhammad the money because he's a gang leader Someone she refused to ought to take off her panty as many women they happen to them that Muhammad he chased them and he raped them Someone he did not pay Muhammad jizya like the Christian and the Jews so they should be killed He will enslave their, their children Muhammad is a thief. He have no problem to let you even worship any God you wish as long you pay him money and this is proving us that Muhammad cannot be a messenger of God because if Allah is ordering you to fight the kuffar and fight what fight the kuffar so how you accept the kuffar to stay alive and worship the false God if they pay you money what is the condition for the Christians to stay alive is to pay the jizya Muhammad he have no problem if we don't accept him as a prophet and not to worship his God as long we pay him that is a clear mm -hmm. evidence of a theft he don't care for God a person who have jealousy for God he will not accept any compromise and he will not say okay you know what if you pay me I will let you live same time what kind of justice you just say to me if somebody is a crazy should not be judged correct correct okay so why Muhammad is saying a child who never commits a sin he might go to hell where is justice can I ask you something? I let you speak as hmm. you want. Go ahead. Uh, go to any Muslim scholar and he will tell you that any Muslim hmm. who died before the age of consent, hmm. he will go to heaven. Well, that's me. Muhammad is a liar. Thank you very much. Guys, did he no. say, hold on. No, 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 no. no. You no, said, no, no. you said, go to any Muslim scholar. Here we go. Is Muhammad a scholar or not? Can, can I, is Muhammad, is Muhammad, is Muhammad your prophet a scholar or is an idiot? Yeah, if you're a, a prophet is if you're a prophet correcting Aisha, Aisha she said she is happy she said this child is a bird in paradise so Aisha she thinking like you and me that it's justice that the child he is a son of Muslims so he commit no sin so he will go to heaven but you just said mm -hmm. if you go to any scholar he will say to you a child who die he will go to heaven but this is not what your prophet said Aisha she says that and Muhammad he spanked her he said, are you stupid or what? Don't say that. For nobody knows who is going to go to heaven or go to hell. It might be the otherwise. Otherwise what? She said he will go to heaven. He said otherwise, which means he might go to hell. Why he will go to hell? He explained, for God, which means Allah, he created who will go to hell when they are in the lines right. of their father. It is not something you earn later. It is something you have already before you are created. The decision already made. So Aisha, she think, I actually yeah. think that because he did not commit sin, he never reached the age of sin, he will go to heaven. Muhammad disagree. Uh, uh, the Qadr does not work like as you said. Okay, my friend, it's not me who said that, it's your prophet. Please let your let your dad call me. I mean, I don't know what, what I can do. How much stupidity we can we can have. <laughs> Don't call me, don't call me, don't call me. Don't, I don't waste my time. The second you start going around in a circle, I, don't, I have no time. It's clear, everybody is laughing. Everybody is laughing. The other guy, the liar, the liar, he said to us, don't call me, don't force me to, to, force me to block you, please. The other guy, he lied to us. He said the hadith he gave me, it says the one who have his children, three of them die, they will go to he the heaven. The hadith says he will go to heaven. Okay, look like I have I have to block you. Hold on. You force me to do so. Who is next? 
Who is next? And look how this deceiving people they are. This hadith in the front of you, it's so clear. The guy, the liar, he said this hadith saying that if you have three children of you, I mean, and I mean, even look at the logic, how stupid his logic and his prophet logic. Let us say for the sake of argument that Muhammad he is saying what he is saying that if you have three kids the three kids who die they will go they will go to heaven I mean what is the logic of that <laughs> hello my question yes my friend I uh, just uh, want to remind you uh, I am the guy that uh, just uh, point out that flat earth uh, topic yeah, the answer already, no? Yeah, 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 of course, yeah. yeah. But no, I'm not going to I'm not going to stay with that topic anymore. And I'm going to but just like stay a little bit what with, with the kids in a, in a Islam and all mm. that stuff. Mm. Okay? Okay. Um um well I uh, I do live in the UK. Okay. And I'm not I'm not I'm not English, as you can tell by my accent. Mm. Um but uh, you uh, know that, that there's a plenty of uh, Muslim people in, in the UK. Mm. You must know that. Yeah, and and uh, there's plenty of Muslim families in the, in the UK, and they've got the kids. And and there must be there might not there must be there might be a topic for you for next time when you. Like no no my friend. The... no uh, let me answer you in the text please and and uh, I will hang up Context. on your own yeah okay no problem no this is not my topic I don't care really how many Muslims they are in the UK this is your business this is not my problem <clears throat> let us say all the UK became Muslims I don't care I am here to fight I am here to fight the cult of Islam don't call me back please give me give me a serious question I am here to fight Islam. Muslims is not my concern if the stupid government of the UK is welcoming them. This is their problem sooner or later. They will pay the price I am here to fight the cult of Islam the stupidity of Islam Wherever I go Islam is going to be erased Wherever people hear me they will see how stupid Islam is I Have no concern of population of Islam. It means nothing to me that should be your concern. You bring them to your country and then you complain. Why you bring them? That's not my business. I am not the prime minister of England to fix your problem, and I cannot fix that problem. If a country run by a bunch of donkeys, the solution is easy. It's not with a Christian prince, is to change the donkeys who you made them leaders. As simple as that. I am not the one who brought them. I am not the one who gave them visas, and I am not the one who can kick them out. Look like this guy, he will not stop. My friend, you are forcing me to block you again. Doesn't matter if you are a Christian or not. Don't call me for silly questions, please. Focus in the head of the snake, not on the tail. You see, the Muslims. They would love it if you start crying and the population of Islam and increasing. Blah, blah, blah. Who care? Let us let let us bring them all to Christ. This is what we should do. Let us show all those who came to UK the truth and make them Christians. Instead of a crying, bring them to Christ. Be good to them. Invite them to the Lord, and they will come. Just yesterday, I have a person who is from the UK. He's a Pakistani. He became a Christian, and we play his video live on air. Is that correct, guys? He's from Pakistan, who served in the British Army, who became a Christian and get baptized, and now he is preaching the gospel. Good for him. Do what you need to do. Stop crying. Why you are calling me, Sayed? Why you are calling me? Yes, Sayed. Why you are calling me, my friend? Yes, uh, yes, Christian. I, I thank you for taking my call again. I, I really, I really wanted to um, 
just basically ask you uh, one simple question. Mm. You know, when it I comes have, I have, I have no answer because you are smart. I am not, as you see. I don't even know English. What I can do now? Well, if I finish you, I apologize. I truly, I truly <laughs> uh, didn't mean to do but that. But let me ask you. Be honest with me. The hadith you gave me about the three children. Are you serious when you say that the one who will go to heaven is the children, not the father? That that's what it said verbatimly. No, my friend, it it's, says no Muslim. Read with me. No Muslim who is their ch three children died will go to fire. Who is the one who will go to fire? Will go not to fire? The Muslims who his children, three of them die. You the hadith says, Eng English is your first language, correct? Not like mine. Correct. Okay. The hadith is so clear in front of us says that if a person he have three children, they die for him, he will not go to hellfire. You said they die for him? No, they die. I mean, it is a children. They die. They die. Like, let's say you have three children. They die maybe in fire or they die in disease or whatever. You have three children. Because of that, you as a Muslim, you will not go to hell. That's what it says. And I find that the hadith you gave me is proving that Muhammad is a false prophet. Because I, I, you know, yeah, yeah it's, see, this is what I mean. It's like your ability to comprehend is not, it's not, and it's so, it's only like three lines, it's only three lines, not even three lines. It says, No Muslim whose three children, so now we could just take that right there. Hmm. No Muslim whose three children hmm. died. The children belong so now, to so now, so now, so now there's a, there, there is a cause and effect. The cause is a man or a Muslim man with three children, okay? So hmm. now, what is the effect? Who is the, the one who died? The, who the is the one who is the one who died? The three children are dead now. Okay, and who is okay. the one? Who is the one will go to heaven? The children. The children. No Muslim whose three children die <laughs> will go to the fire. My friend, my friend. So if you're not going to the fire, where are you going? Okay, hold on, hold on. You know, anyone who speak any kind of form of English is going to be left in what you said. You know, I you know I don't think so. I don't think so, man. You know, I think that anyone who hears me speak and knows that I'm speaking clear, and you're okay, reading the me, same thing. Okay, let me let me show you. Let me let me let me get you busted nicely. Here we go. The hate in front of me in Arabic. Anyone who speak Arabic, a Muslim, please give us a call, and I will make you join the conversation, and I will make you translate to this person to show him that he have no idea what he's talking about. His English so is about, fine. How about you show me? Read with me. I'm well. showing you. Here we go. The Arabic in front of me. Are, are you reading the one that um that you just that you showed previously? The no, the one you gave me, ما من مسلم ما من الناس مسلم يموت له ثلاثة من من الولد لم يبلغ الحنث إلا أدخله الله الجنة أدخله not أدخلهم Allah will enter him into heaven. Okay, Allah will enter him and let me show you the translation. Here we go. Read with me. <laughs> All the translation. Who is the one be granted? Send, send me that in the because, text. Because said, of the said, mercy, because the because of the mercy of his children. Because Allah, He will have mercy because He lost His children. So Can Allah you send will me have that in the text. No problem. Here we go. I will give you all the links. Here we go. All those hadith are the same hadith you are quoting for me. I just want to read the. I just want to read it in Arabic, like you are reading it in Arabic. Do you know Arabic? I said I'm an intermediate. I'm just intermediate. I'm okay, not, no not, problem. Not, go ahead. Not okay, go ahead. Yeah. All right, <coughs> so uh, 342. Okay, so now, so now the prophet is making it even more clear, he doesn't even use the word hellfire. In uh, in um, ma minal nas muslimun ya'mutu lahu talatat minal waladi lam. Lum is Lum is declining. He's declining. It is a negative. <laughs> See, I, I ain't saying I'm the best, brother, but I do know a little something. Okay, he's he, he's 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 saying that he's he the prophet the prophet is basically given the license for every Muslim to believe that if he has a child and the child is dying to always believe and accept the the good news of his child getting Jenna. Okay, read with me, read with me, read with me, my friend. Everybody is laughing at your lies. Sorry, sorry to say. Uh, sorry to say. It's in front of you guys. Read with me. This is different translation. Sahih. This is Sahih. The Messenger of Allah said, "There is no Muslim three of whose of of whose children die before reaching the uh, property, but Allah will admit him to paradise." Do you see it now? It's the first, second, and third one because I'm at the second one right now. Hmm. Does which it say? Does it say? Which one are you reading? Okay, let me give you the link. 
so you can read it in Arabic you can read it in English because your Arabic is a fantastic my friend I want to learn Arabic from you here we go ah, come on man okay so you apologize for lying oh man I'd yeah say. I require apology guys is that correct he's lying to us he, he speak English better than me he have no excuse to lie English is not my first language Okay, what that, hadith are we reading, man? It's okay. the same hadith we are reading, the same hadith you gave me, the same exactly, the same hadith, the same report. Okay, okay. Do you know that we we'll admit know? him, not them. Who how many of the children, the children they die? Three of them. Who is the one will admit to heaven? Is the father of the children. Admit him. Okay. Do you know what that word of means? My friend, just go, please go, go. I mean, I, this is why. This is why I don't want to. I, I don't I, send me somebody who claimed to be a scholar, not a kid. I'm I'm losing my patience. Sorry. I mean, look at this. I show it in the front of him. This is their translation. This is their website. This is their hadith. This is the hadith he chose for me. And yet he says to me, "Do you know what this word mean? And do you know what this word mean? I am an Arab person. Are you stupid or what? This is my first language." Do you know what this word mean? No, I do not know what this word. You are the one who do not know the name of your prophet correctly. You are going to teach me. And here we go. I'm showing you your Islamic translation. What's wrong with that? Even your Muslims agree with me. And the funny, the Christian, they say to me, Christian Prince, you need to learn to be patient. Honestly, go, go and see the text. Christian, they say to me, Christian Prince, you should be patient. I stay here for how many hours? Dealing with this stupidity, and yet you will see a Christian. He's drinking Pepsi Cola. He have his foot in the top of his table, and he Christian Prince. He starts schooling you, Christian Prince, brother. You are not being patient. You should be nicer, brother. You are right. Go take a vacation for Hawaii and and teach teach me about relaxation. Unbelievable. <clears throat> My friend, Mr. Sayyid, I hope and I pray that you will leave the cult of Islam. This is the most stupid religion ever. They fool you, my friend. And by the way, you are a black person. How dare you to accept Islam? Islam is the most filthy, racist religion against the black people. To the point, Muhammad, he ordered to kill every pure black animal. Because he believed the pure black color is the color of the devil. Every aswad bahim, aswad in black, bahim, pure black. How stupid it is, specifically if you are black. To accept Islam, how dare you? You are an insult to your ethnic group. You are joining the one who humiliated you, the one who believed that you are the devil. Even Muhammad, he claimed that the devil is an Ethiopian man, an Ethiopian African black person. Why you need to kill every pure black animal? What is kind? What kind of religion this religion is? Why? They asked Muhammad, "What is different between a yellow dog and a, and and a white dog, a red dog, and a, and a black dog?" He said, "The black dog is the devil." I mean, isn't it obvious this person he have a mental illness? Not only this is stupid, not only this is disgusting or hate against a color, it is a big fat lie because your color have nothing to do with you being evil or good. I met many people who they are white and they are not good at all. And I met many white people who they are wonderful. 
I met many black people who they are not good at all and I met many black people who they are wonderful what does have to do with being bad or good with your color once I want to do shopping I drove my car from the garage I went out I thought the garage door closed I came back I found my neighbor who is a black man sitting in the front of my garage he have a chair he brought it from his house sitting in the front of my garage to guard my house I told him what's happening he said you left the garage open I said why you don't hit the thing and close it he said I am afraid if I get in somebody will say I get inside your house look how nice he is he sat in the front of my garage sitting in the chair for two hours until I came back guarding my house and he's a black man and I am not a black man how wonderful he is what the color have to do with you being a black or white Even Muhammad, and you know the hadith, where Muhammad, he said that Allah created, actually, I'm thankful that one of you remind me of this hadith, I forgot about it for a long time. Allah created the black people from the left shoulder of Adam. And he said, let them go to hell. And he created the white people from the right shoulder of Adam and he said let them go to heaven and I don't care black people left black people from the left shoulder and let them go to hell and this is the God you choose for me how dare you how dare you to be part of such a cult Allah messenger peace be upon him yeah we are right said Allah created Adam when he had to create him and struck his right shoulder and there emitted from his white of from, from it the white of spring as if it were white ants and he struck the left shoulder and there emitted the black of spring as if they were circle he said he then said to those who had emitted from the right shoulder for paradise and I don't mind and for those who they are emitted from the left shoulder are for hell and I don't mind that's your God and you are a black person shame on you And by the way, the hadith Muhammad, he, he, this guy he just gave us, uh, <clears throat> about if somebody has a children, three children will go to, to, to uh, if, if they die, they will, he will go to heaven. I mean, how stupid is that? So if I go and kill around and do whatever I want, and then just because of my children, they, they die, I go to heaven. What is that? What is, what is that? The children they might go to hell, but because my children, my children they die, I will go to heaven. This is a man who is a crazy. He has given promises left and right. Even he promised ten of his companions to go to heaven. Who is he? Are you God? What? Yeah, we will, we will not talk now about the Arabic mistakes, my friend, because actually we are almost done. Hello? Hi, Christian Prince. It's uh, Mr. A. Hey, how are you, my friend? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm still alive, as you see, but I'm losing my hair because of the Muslims. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was thinking about one thing uh, now that you said, what if uh, it's ridiculous that he go to heaven because three of his kids die? What if he killed them himself because he wants to go to heaven? No, he didn't say that. We we don't, we don't have to exaggerate. The guy he did not say if he killed them. There is no there is no way he would mean that. But this is still this is not an excuse. That's mean. 
uh, uh, you know, uh, people they can go to hell and not they are not fit for hell just because he have children they die. I mean, w w that's stupid. Yes, yes, of uh, course. That's stupid. Uh, well, well, and and I, how how a child himself will go to hell even though he commit no sin, right? How the child himself he commit no sin yet he might go to hell, but the father who is a children die because of them he will go to heaven. Yeah, it's. Uh... It's ridiculous. Yeah, madness. What but anyway, say. I heard you uh, was um, showing the people, uh, your uh, viewers, about uh, Noah and his uh, children's name. Yeah. And the miracle in the Old Testament. Right. I don't know if you have mentioned Genesis one one, which is an incredible miracle. Okay, go ahead. This is written two thousand years before Jesus Christ, Son of God. And uh, as you know, all all the alphabets, uh, the letters is uh, associated with pictures. Every letter have its own picture, and it's associated with numbers. Okay. Anyway, in uh, Genesis one one, the first thing is in the beginning. And if you go to the he Hebrew letters, and if you uh, watch the picture for the word uh, for the letters in the beginning if you translate them it says exactly the first word in the beginning two words is translated to the son of god is destroyed willingly by his own hand on the cross and the last letter in these words it's a picture of a cross Mm. I have sent you the link. Uh, okay. I recommend you to watch it. All right, I will. I will check it out to verify. You know, for me, I don't believe in things unless unless I investigate. Even if it's about something to prove my belief, but I like to investigate always before I, I believe in said, something. I'm exactly the same. Yeah. This is a miracle. It's incredible, and this is written two thousand years before Jesus Christ, Son of God. And every Jew, if they see this. And if they know this, and if the rab rabbis tell them this, they will for sure think about Jesus Christ in another way. Hmm. Okay. Well, God is good, and God always don't leave himself without witnesses, and we are his witnesses anyway. You know, God is a miracle himself, and we are his miracle. And, and even the Muslims, by the way, is the miracles of God. But looked like the miracles of God with the Muslims is proven to us how stupid a human being can be when he followed the devil you know this is kind of a miracle how a human being he chose to be foolish when he followed the devil yeah how a human being can believe in such a mad religion that you go believe in a god his name is allah you kill people for him you commit suicide you slaughter you rape you make a gang and then because if you are being good by killing a raping and attacking and false fiction and lying then he will give you a lot of virgin in heaven. He will give you endless penis. He will give you 70 years orgasm. The promises of the God of Islam alone is enough to prove that this is nothing but devilish, satanic cult. The true this God... This is written by desires. This is written by a person that have a lots of desires. I have grown up with Muslims uh, all my life. I live in Sweden, as you know, many Muslims here. Uh, I have grown up with them. I Even they are my friends and have been my friends uh, you know um, you see a lot of the lot lot of their behavior and uh, we have often uh, talked about this religion and uh, this has been the case all the time the same things over and over again but uh, it seems like it's no problem having sex with a nine-year-old it seems like uh, it's very normal at times but uh, much uh, much lesser things like something they mentioned something about christianity which you can even compare to have sex with a nine-year-old then it's a big problem oh how can this happen oh how can this be uh, in this way but when you mention a nine-year-old uh no he, he liked her uh, she consented she was nine year old but she was like a 20 year old in her mind she knew what she did and all that yeah. Anyway, my friend, thank you very much for calling.
Uh, thank you. Our time is almost up, so I appreciate your call. Thank you. Call again from time to thank time. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. All right, guys. Do we have a good time today? Did we have a good time? God willing, if I can do tomorrow broadcast, I will. If not, we might give you one day break from me. Can you produce material of in uh, my friend uh, uh, Micha, Mika, whatever is your name? I like now. I just said something about African, correct? Okay. What about you? Download the video, cut it. I said that in different video. Put them together yourself. Do some work. I mean, help me. I have many things to do. Trust me. I go to Facebook now. I will find like a hundred, two hundred emails to answer. I go to Skype. I have like a three hundred text waiting for me. I go to my YouTube. I have God knows how many, uh, 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 you know, uh, posts. Uh, so help me, guys. You know, I'm doing my part. Do your part. Cut my video. Okay, you like this part about African? Cut it. I spoke in different place about African. I made many tons of videos. Cut pieces. Put it together. Do some work. Help me. Help me and help yourself. And the Lord will bless you for the work you do. Don't depend in one man. You know, it's I am just one man army. The Muslim they think I have secretaries, they think I have a driver, they think that they think the Mossad is paying me, they think the government of Israel is sponsoring me, they think Trump is my driver. When the fact is totally the opposite. Don't call me say it today. Today we are done. Okay, get yourself roasted for tomorrow. God is warning when we finish. So, guys, I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And we'll see you soon again. If tomorrow is going to be tomorrow, if not, maybe the day after. Don't forget to subscribe so you can and turn off, uh, turn on your notification so you will be informed when we are on air. And uh, tell your friends to come and join us feel free to download my videos I have no problem even if you are a Muslim to download my videos and post them anywhere you want but don't ever claim that you are Christian Prince don't play with them otherwise I will flag you don't play games so I encourage everybody to call me to debate me to prove me wrong if you could and you cannot never happened before and will never happen in the future for a very simple reason i am a follower for the one who said i am the truth i am the resurrection i am the light i am the beginning i am the end i am the alpha i am the omega by him and for him everything was created that is the lord the jesus the christ the lord of the world who your prophet trying to fight your prophet trying to erase his name, which is impossible. The Messiah, he said, the sky and the earth will pass, will be destroyed, but word of mine will not. That is my Lord. We do not need a goat to eat our Quran to prove to us that God is not God. Already it's a proven to be false book. But in the top of that, you bring me stories about a goat ate your book, and that you claim that your Quran is preserved. And yet you don't even have a copy of your Quran. And yet you don't have a correct recitation of the Quran. And yet your prophet, he said, Allah sent the Quran in seven letters. And yet you don't have them. And yet Amr al-Khattab, he said, Allah sent the Quran in a thousand, thousand, twenty-five thousand letters. Yet we find only 20% of the Quran is exist today, of what you claim to be Quran. But yet you claim the Quran is preserved. How stupid that is. And if this is not a stupid, then what is a stupidity? Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And see you soon again. Take care.